Dum, 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 dee dee, la 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 la. Hello? Oh. Cease to hold any bearing on our reality plane. That's why we've created Info Channel for important information only. Now, let's say that your uncle needs to find a job, or you just plain need a smile. Still technically too for requesting a nightline Minecraft live stream. That was a gag, okay? <laughs> Listen, if I stream anything that that's not like my wheelhouse kind of stuff, then it's gonna be for a gag, okay? Okay, guys, I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Today we are going to be doing swatches of makeup. If you follow me on um, Twitter. Uh, uh, Daisy Brown Real, you know that I am really interested in makeup. Here at Pizza Time Pizza, we're a family. I'm a real pizza, and I'm okay with being eaten. Order a fresh, large pepperoni cheese pizza today, and join the Pizza Time Pizza family today. In a world of uncertainty and danger, there's one thing you can always count on. Brett Smith, Matt R, Jeremy Party, Tay of the 1986, Tio Blue Corps, Bone Daddy Jack 31, Alex Skorpinski, Born Loser Gaming. I am Sophie. Young, popular, talented. I am a friend, a daughter, a sister. And it might look like I've got it pretty. It's In the seconds following James Dean's presidential announcement, hundreds of thousands of neighborhoods erupted into celebration. Due to popular demand, the ABC Evening News was canceled the next night.
So my brother Charlie tells my sister Dolly that our brother Barley's cousin Henry is turning over a new leaf. But if you ask me, Barn, a caterpillar's always turning over leaves. We just call this salad. So you don't believe the poor guy? Sounds like you're just giving him the short end of the stick. Play the song Hot Cross Buns. It's very simple. Play along with me. Shit, this got strange. Bug. Who? Crystal. Oh, this is cool. So I was watching this movie with Boris Karloff. Her pasta was only a, a, a pre-correct, and then she tried to hide it with mozzarella.
Who's feeling good tonight? <laughs> wow, it was floating in midair. How magical. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Shooski! Shooski! A ghosty raid! Hello! Welcome, ghosts! Welcome, Shooski! Oh, Shooski, it's been a bit. Hello. Kinda quiet. Hold up. Uh. Hold on. What the fuck? Oh, the fucking mic fell! Hold up. Right in front of a raid, too. Got my goddamn fucking mic. God, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hello, Shusky and Raiders. Welcome on in. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> please, please. If you like cool ghosts, go follow Shusky. Hello, Shusky and Raiders. What were you up to? Thank you for joining us for Dad. Welcome on in, welcome on in. Dad is live. What? <laughs> Shish, I can't do anything. I can't do anything special without without Dad having to, <laughs> to, to try and steal my thunder while I'm trying to give him thunder. Zuski says, hello, let's play some Curse Spooky Games. Hope you have a great stream. Thank you. Curse Spooky Games is exactly our vibe. Very cool. Thank you so much for bringing your folks over here. Welcome, everybody. If you did not know, I am Nick Nocturne of Nightmind over on YouTube. And over here, I am still Nick Nocturne of Nightmind. But I'm also part of Astraline. <laughs> and for this spring season, I am in my March hair form. Yes, currently, I am Bunny. Benoy. Benoy. Yeah. And today, we are going over Dad, the complete story. Yes, yeah. We're going, we're going for it. Because there's a whole run now. One big good video. Which is very, very happy, very, very exciting. But, uh, hold on, let me hop down a second. Alright, listen. Okay, you all showed up here. You all actually came, you know? And, uh, I like to... I like to reward people for their loyalty. So, I'm gonna do a little something. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little something special. So, uh... There's been a notification on my phone today that I haven't answered. Apparently, wait, wait, hold on. 100 bits from Seto Saitome, I think. Thank you for those. What are your thoughts on a toilet with Victor from Tekken decals all over it? Those stickers are going to get nasty. <laughs> and by the way, thank you, anybody, who, for their, their kindness. I have a filter here that should be telling me on OBS cool things that happen that you guys do like Tenacity XL who just saw for seven months and that should be appearing and uh oh shit hold on a second I know why certain things aren't happening with my face one second <laughs> whoops new workflow hold on ah uh, let's see Tenacity, thank you. Seto, thank you. Tenacity, thanks for the 100 bits. Saying close, Bunny. Denabelle, thank you for the 666 bits. Here for the first time for Dad. Nice. Alice Astro, thank you for subbing. Feeling good. There we feeling go. Sassy. Yes, thank you. Now I'm feeling good and feeling sassy. Full homo, bro. I like your name. Thank you for the three months. Dr. Hogarth, hello! Welcome, Dr. Hogarth. I hope you're doing well, too. Oh, COVID for two weeks. That sucks. I'm sorry. Ah, glad we could be a good company. 
Oh wow, look how detailed and big my tongue is up close like this. <laughs> There's a screenshot for ya. Nick does I go face. <laughs> There's some cursed shit. <laughs> oh, Broly Saiyan King. Thank you for the 100 bits. After the stream, will you be posting it to YouTube to rewatch in case some of us can't stay for the whole stream? Bet your tail I will. Yes, indeed. And Teddy7503, thank you for the hard bits. Just got my wisdom teeth taken yesterday. I'm home alone. What better way to watch than some Nick and Dad will I recover? Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad to keep you company. Apparently, I've kept quite a few people company before after their, uh, their, their tooths got yanked from the back of their jaws. Did you get to keep them? A little gross souvenir? <laughs> Let's see, I just want to make sure I'm not missing anybody else according to the filters. Da, da, da. Cosmic Hoodie, thank you for the two gift subs. Ron He's Rosen, thank you, What's Rosen, yours? for the five gift subs. 42B, thanks for the 100 bits. Wit Dick, thank you for the four months. Nothing better than hanging out with you all a few days before my birthday. Early happy birthday. The Plutonian, thank you for resubbing. Okay, and now I am caught up as of just a few seconds ago with Foxy McLoxy with the seven months. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're here. Glad you could hang with us. Danabella, thank you for the 666 bits. Graduating May 4th. Very nice. Very nice. And Teddy7503, thank you for the 100 bits. Of course I kept them. I have oh, earrings with fake teeth. Geez. Now I can have them with real teeth. The Disgusting. Yeah. Fully approved. Oh, and that day is coming. It's yours. It's yours. It's your flag in the sky. And we will make it ours. It's the big biggest flag in the sky. And it's ours. And we want nothing more than to make it our own. And we're proud, and we're proud, and we're proud of the flag. Salute the flag, salute the flag, salute the flag on the mountain top. It's our flag up top on the mountain top. <laughs> I can back up a little bit. I can back up a little bit. And now, back to what I was saying. Uh, pup brained. Whoa. <laughs> pup brained. Right at the beginning of a, of a stream. Damn. I mean, I know these eyes are potent, but shit. Thank you for subbing with Prime K. <laughs> Thank you for subbing. Wolf bark, etc. Yeah. Finally witnessing a stream, yay yay, very yay. Welcome on in. Okay, and thank you for that salute. So, as I was saying, I have a notification on my phone that I have not looked at, a very important message. All right, and uh, I realized I could check it out and reply before stream, or I could do something much more fun and tantalizing. I have a revision to check on and give feedback on for the model. And I figured I'm not going to be able to show you, but you can get my first reaction <laughs> as I check it out. Yeah, you're not going to see shit, but I you will be able to hear. All right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to take a look. I'm going to take a look right now. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. 
Wow. That is... <laughs> that is some... That is some invent... Wow. I mean, I told the artist... Feel free to invent for the outfit on the OG design, but... It's like they knew I really needed to feel like myself again. And they guessed. I feel it. I am feeling so fucking sassy. You don't even know. <laughs> wow. This is. Wow. Oh, is that a fucking ring? What's the ring on, you're asking? <laughs> On a scale of one, breaking that scale, how sexy is the model? Damn good margarita. I mean, in this in this shot, I'm I'm still wearing clothing, so it's a, it's like an eight, uh, at least. Wow. It's about to get a lot more fun in here. It is about to get so much more fun in here. Holy shit. You guys don't know. I mean, it even it even took some cool things about the previous and wow, it feels it feels so right. <laughs> Thanks for the help, bud. It feels so right. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Wow, and something that I had a curiosity about oh, on wow. is correct. What's um, this? Yeah. Fuck. Oh, we're all gonna be happy. Yeah, we're all gonna be very happy. Oh, sorry, Vampire Shadow. That's because sometimes these layer up a little too strong. There you go. Yeah, this is how I'm feeling. Ah. Uh, there. Wow. There are such cool touches here. <laughs> I'm just... I just... Wow. Wow. This is really special. This is really special. I, I genuinely. It's important to feel like yourselves, guys. Especially in a performance capacity. It's important to feel like yourselves. Uh, okay. Let me just, let me write something quick. Ah, Moonlight Angel, I appreciate it, but what you were seeing from the start was a costume. And, uh... Yeah, I am just, uh... You know, you know that feeling when you look in the mirror after a good solid month of a workout and you, you see... You finally see... It's working. And everything else that's gonna come. That's how I feel. That's how I feel. 
like shit, bro. I can see my abs. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. That kind of thing. Wow. Justice done? Yeah. How Eldritch Hari is the new model? A lot of this stuff relies on how you play with the model. And the rigor is really going to be the one who allows a lot more of your punch. But, uh... Okay, well, now that I'm done with my half-chub over myself here... Hi, Dad! <laughs> How's that for a sentence, huh? <laughs> Hi, Dad, how you doing? We're having a viewing party! Because you made my life a lot fucking easier, honestly. One more message, and there we go. One more message, I needed to get out there. You're doing a core workout, Sarge? Very nice. Very nice. Let it empower you. You actually thought about that? Thought about what? The putting together the oh, whole the whole package there? What's this? Because uh yeah, seriously, genuinely appreciate it because it's it's making this a lot easier. Hey Taz, and thank you for gifting the dad. And Danabella, thank you for the six 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 bits in that message. Dr. Hogarth, thank you for the five hundred. We've missed you too. A salute for dad? Yeah, who's got who's got the salute? Has it been long enough for a salute? Cause I'll 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 hit it myself. Thank you, Sun Shattered. Salute Dad. Especially for the amount of work that went into over four hours of content here. Of course, content is not the right word. What we have here is art. It's the biggest flag in the sky, and it's ours, and we want. Actually, never mind. Salute the flag of the dad on top. It's your dad on top on the mountain top. Aw, thank you, Dad. Alright, let's go over into the other corner of the office and get this going here. Oh, I have to move you guys. <laughs> oh, it's doing this stupid stuttering thing. Hold on. Well, I don't. I, I I think they're gone, Dad. I think they've. I think they've flown. I think they've flown the coop. Uh, c come on. Uh, hold. What the? F hold on. What the fuck? Can, can can I can I not have some scuff, please? Can I not? Are we good? Ah, oh, all right. All right, hold up. Let me just uh, get you guys back. Next stream without scuff. That happens most of the time. All right. Don't make fun of me. It's about to get a lot more fun in here. 
it is about to get a lot more fun in here. Uh, <laughs> but first, it, there's going to be an ad in here. So let's let that roll and then we can actually watch a bit in uninterrupted. Dad is feeling good. Dad has can of food. Dad is feeling good. <laughs> Time for dad to move. You think Dad Feels was the first unfiction project you ever saw? Damn. Well, this is a cool moment then, huh? Dad is feeling oh so good. What is happening? Are the ads playing? It's, they should be playing, I think. <laughs> I don't want to start this with, with, uh, with, with them rolling. You listen to Dad Feels without knowing it was a project, huh? Oh, there we go. Now it's going. Okay. We'll be back after these important messages from Taco Bell. Uh, subtitles. English. See, I've learned by now. I've learned by now that you need it. That it is helpful. Therefore, we do it. So, uh, for those who are still here right now, if I said that I am the Baja Blast of Nick Nocturnes, does that make sense? I think that makes sense. I think you understand what I mean. <laughs> okay, yeah, alright, you all understand. Cool, cool. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Sarge. May the soothing help you in your cooldowns between sets. Need an example of the live wire of Nick Nocturne's? Oh my god. <laughs> Why Baja Blast? Okay. Because everybody loves it, but you have to get it in a special condition. And it's not a year-round kind of thing. You know? I mean, sure, if you wanted it to be, but it's like, it's a special kind of thing. It's not, I am not OG flavor, but... <laughs> Oh boy, with the with the upcoming model, I wonder. But there's gonna be a fight over is this is this Mountain Dew original or is this like red alert? Code red. <laughs> you do get Baja Blast vibes good. You would Sam the Shamrock you know what? You're McFucking right. I am the Shamrock Shake of Nick Nocturnes. I just survive after and appear after. You know, because I was thinking about it. I was thinking actually, oh boy, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a shamrock shake counter uh, for how many shamrock shakes I have this season after. And no, you can't, you goober. Uh, St. Patrick's Day is before the equinox. You will not be able to do that. Shit. But that's okay. All right. Let's do this. It's dad time. Ah, Dad feels awake and ready for work. Okay, now let's see. I've got my briefcase, computer, calculator, pen, paper, coffee cup, and eternal dedication to the corporation. Now I just need a kiss on the cheek from my loving wife to send me on my way. Cheryl? Cheryl? Where could she be? Dad, you should try Baja Blast at least Dad's once. Dad's always the first to leave. How will Dad make it through the day without love from wife? Mm. Okay, calm down. Let's think for a second. Dad'll just wait. But Dad can't wait. He'll be late for a job. What is going on here? 
How does Dad know if wife loves him without a kiss? What a day. Dad sure is tired. Dad will feel good once he gets a nice kiss on the cheek from his beautiful wife. We should all try liquid food once? Oh, show. maybe. I think Boss maybe. really liked my presentation. Maybe I'll be promoted to executive worker. Then, when Dad has enough saved, he can quit and become number one YouTuber. Dad is already growing. Dad actually grew a lot, uh, literally, dad following this appearance. Family. <laughs> family, dad's home. Dad took dad bod to um, like five new levels, actually. Like my family. That's it's pretty like awesome. Silence. Wife? Daughter? Where did they go? Where's dad's family? Alright, family will be home any minute and we'll all sit down for dinner. Dad sure is hungry. I wonder where family is. Thanks to me. It tastes so much better when I'm surrounded by the ones I love. I don't know. I... Maybe they went out to the <laughs> restaurant? But why would they go without me? Does family not love dad? I, th I think dad powered dad, dad up in a pretty fantastic fashion. Family? <laughs> Mom, daughter, where have you been? Hi, Dad. We went out to the restaurant because we thought you were working late tonight. I didn't work late. I worked regular. What did you guys have to eat? We had dinner and dessert. I had vegetables and fruit. Mom had sandwich and toffee. What did you have, Dad? I had a can of food. I'll take your word for it, Dad. Eating it alone. That's I am nice, proud honey. of my contribution. <laughs> I'm tired now. Good night, Mom and Dad. I'm going to go read in bed. Don't stay up late, Dad. But what about our nightly family chat? I wanted to tell you guys about True Value's great deals. Strange new things, huh? Maybe I'll poke around later. Aww. Man, I hate when people won't listen to me about true value. Okay, Dr. Hogarth. I'm I'm glad to bring any happiness in. Thank you so much for popping in. Take care, alright? And there goes Felix! So this was a fun special message, uh, because you have a Felix on top of a pie, and Dad wishes to be best YouTuber. So. Oh, so many bills. Dad feels bad. Family's been acting strange. Pie. <laughs> Maybe it's just in Dad's head. Maybe Dad is just jumping to conclusions. Hey, daughter, who are you talking to? Griffin. Is Griffin your boyfriend? Dad. Well, what did I say? Hi, Cheryl. Who are you talking to? Me? Um, Diane. I'm talking to Diane. Hi, Diane. I thought Diane and Abner were on vacation. <laughs> Who's this? Why is there a lumberjack?
Daar is de Good Swain. Nick Lumberjack went. <laughs> Dad feels nostalgic. Dad remembers when he first met Cheryl. <laughs> oh, Cheryl. I love you. <laughs> when did Dad first meet Cheryl? We've been together for so long now. How long? Feels like five eons. Cheryl used to kiss Dad on the cheek every day. Sometimes, twice even. You sure do know how to kiss a cheek. Dad can feel her kiss now. That woman sure can kiss a cheek. <gasps> oh. Oh. <sighs> Get you a baddie who will kiss your cheek three times a day. Not seriously, thank you for six months. Whoa, 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 what was that? Where can you find this? I'll drop the link in a second. Here you go. And yes, we're watching Dad the Complete Story. It's a big 4 hour, 14 minute, 32 second video. Yeah. So, Night Mind Trivia for you. Dad Feels is, to me, definitely Cabin Fever Dreams content. Um, I feel like what happened with Dad, with my initial coverage, is that it just missed the window for Cabin Fever Dreams time. But it was so totally this type of project so they did the following year when i did my update it had to be in in the cabin fever dreams roundup <laughs> i think my my thinking at the time was shit i'm past the start of spring but father's day is coming up so it's it's gotta be like it's spiritually it's part of it when is cabin fever dream season okay so cabin fever dream season is from the start of spring equinox it took me a while to figure it out, uh, officially. The start of spring equinox, straight through April. We go all the way up to Walpurgis now, baby. Dad Magazine. Joe, I'm Dad. sorry. I'm sorry you had to find out what Dad's like. This this was a this was a closely guarded secret between dads. Yes, Griffin can come over. Thanks, Mom. Cheryl, I think we should talk about this first. I think we should talk about this. <gasps> <gasps> oh, oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. Dad, I need to talk. I'm shutting down the server. What? Why? 
You know why. Dad's been bad. What about my uploads? How will I become the number one YouTuber? What about my special upload? Don't ask me. It's not up to me. You can upload again when you reach 5,000 subscribers. Phew. If that ever happens. Okay, but, um, hey. Hey. How how is how is dad supposed to increase the speed by which dad gets subscribers if dad cannot upload, bitch? Well, maybe you should have thought of that before talk. Oh, look at that. It's already off. Is everyone ready to go to the park? I'm ready. I'm bringing my sunglasses and wearing my favorite shorts. I'm ready too. I'm bringing my favorite mom book. Dad, are you ready? Honey? Cheryl, what book is that? Just a little fantasy story. Hmm. Oh, okay. mom books. Dad has a fantasy. What do you mean, honey? They make a lot of mom books about uh, guys like me. What, Dad? <laughs> Nothing. Dad's just tired. He worked very hard yesterday for a very long time, and the server was acting up. Let's just go to the park. It's okay, honey. We can talk about you. Cheryl, get in the car. We're gonna have a fun time. Okay, yeah, they make dad books about me too. <laughs> A different context. Dad? Daughter? Hmm. Everyone must be out. Cheryl. <laughs> Sniffing the neighbor's wood. Where do I find these videos? Sometimes, a lot of the time, good stuff Dad finds me. Confused. Mom has been acting really strange lately. What was she saying in the living room yesterday? And what was she holding? Hey, Dad, how are you? Oh, hey, neighbor. Dad doesn't feel great. Why is that? Mom's upset with Dad. What did you do? Dad didn't do anything. She found a magazine and it made her upset, but it's not mine. You sure it's not yours? Yes. Dad's never even mm -hmm. seen... Huh? I... I don't know. Maybe... It is Dad's magazine. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Flesh World. I guess it is Dad's magazine. Cheers if you get that reference. Dad so I'm gonna pause here to to make a comment. Something that I loved about Dad right away was how immediately different it was from all the other projects that were going on at the time. It was very black box theater type. It was strangely colorful. It had essence of David Lynch in its surreal nature without being too David Lynch. It keeps it tight in its storytelling. Not, not a lot of crazy stuff is happening. It's not too much. And it's all, everybody is playing in, in type. Everybody's on the same page for their style in delivery and acting. Ain't that right, Tinfoil Tom TV, who uh, is, uh, has um, nothing at all to do with Dad. Hello, Tinfoil Tom TV. 
of Project Earth. <laughs> Let fire rain down. Thank you for subscribing for eight months. And uh, get shouted out. Get sh get shouted out, alien cheek clapper. You're welcome. Taz, and thank you for gifting to Tinfoil Tom. Did I give a shout out to Dad earlier? I feel like I did I miss that? I almost feel like it's not it's not even Dad approaches and it, it's not even like as soon as Dad is there, that is the shout out. <laughs> because you see Dad and you know Dad. Okay, good. Do it again. I don't mind if I do. I run the fucking show. There we go. It's just all dad lurking as usual. Oh no, now I'm gonna now I'm gonna be self-conscious on the nights of just playing games and saying really gay shit. No, I'm never self-conscious about that. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I really loved right off the bat how different Dad felt as a series. Uh and just the music too. The music inclusion was so unique for what it was doing. And that really had elements of story inside of it that made it more than just having some fun with some music. And Nathan being a badass dancer for it, really, it, it was just thoroughly enjoyable the whole way through. It was a breath of fresh air. And that's why, even though I covered it uh, out of season for Cabin Fever Dreams, it just it instantly felt like, man, I wish I had gotten to this like a month, two months before. Because it just, it evokes the spirit of what we're doing here so strongly. You know, like this is the kind of the lighter side of Cabin Fever Dreams type material. And I just, I really, I will always treasure what was done here with Dad. Because it is so different. And I really, the next chapter begins soon. Oh, you know what strikes me as interesting? I've never seen a dad imitator. In this field, we get a lot of, uh, I mean, I'll say it because it's not even a secret. You all know why I, I, I beg people inspiration over imitation is because we get a lot of great inspiration in this field, but we also get a lot of imitators and everybody is better than that. But I've never seen really imitation nor hard inspiration when it comes from dad and i think it's what Whitdick just said it's dad can't be imitated the style is so specific T tom says i was expecting someone to say they were uncle or something eventually actually <laughs> yeah you know that was i think i had the thought back in the day is okay who is going to be the first to try and take this style? But delightfully, to the best of my knowledge, nobody has. Ryuji is right. Dad is one of those one of the is one of those that we just can't touch because of how unique it is. The closest we could have gotten was Poppy, but the style is just so unique and weird to the point where trying would only lessen the effect. Yeah. Someone made a mom channel, but it was clearly a kid re-uploading my videos with their own VO. Wow. Not cool. Yeah, Tom, I'd say so. I'd say that being a legit filmmaker and committing so hard to an original presentation, like, obviously, there are elements of inspiration here that we could guess at, which could either be confirmed or denied, but still, it... It is a mark of originality. And even if you see potential inspiration, it is inspiration. You know? Yeah, I don't see imitation here. I see understanding of 
things that were loved that came before and then compiled into a brand new thing. It's like, put it in the blender, add your own ingredients, shake it up, pour it out into its own unique container, and here you go. Now you have Dad Feels. Feels okay. Dad's had some time to think. Mom and Dad just need to have a talk. Dad will explain to me. Was it Dad? Neighbor doesn't even shop up to drive House shows me we're good at the living cows and tools. House shows me we're how our real legs work. He gets real legs and true value. Dad has a bed bed. Who has an ax and Was it dad and me? What's happening to dad in life? Gotta clean this place up once and for all. Neighbor to neighbor in shop and true value. The house shows me we're good at the living cows and tools. Whoever does shows me we're good at the living cows Oh, I can hear elements of this now. I couldn't before. Dad's chores are done. So, the initial conflict here, besides just trying to understand what was going on from the meta angle of Dad, was understanding what the idea was behind the orbs. Because there was a battle between the orbs occurring. Space Breakfast! Thank you for subbing! Welcome on in. And that whole idea of why why is dad being influenced one way and dad being influenced the other way. And of course, we got a root for the rebel. We got a root for the rebel that's, that's breaking things behind the scene because we can tell that things are not quite correct. And so in time, we did come to understand that. Was Spacey in one of the orbs? No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't sneak out tonight. Dad will be so mad. But all my friends sneak out and never get caught. Dad will be asleep by 10 anyway. But Mom's favorite images are on tonight. But if she had one... I gotta get Mom drunk. Stand <laughs> out before the TV even boots up. The funniest shit is that it's the it's box wine. That cheap box wine. <laughs> wow, imagine taking that dolly for a spin. Family would really think I'm cool moving the refrigerator with that. Maybe even Diane would notice. Look at the watts on those light bulbs. I could see through to another dimension with those babies. True Value sure does have it all. I could build my own shed with a little help from True Value. My shed would crush neighbor's shed. The masculine urge to build a shed. Someday, Dad will have the greatest I won't even deny I've got it. Universe. Listen, sometimes you just you see a shed and what it's. <laughs> I want to build a shed. Fuck it. and you flatter me. Dad loves mom. <laughs> Dad actually can be scary sometimes, <laughs> which I really appreciate that. Dad could do that Kubrick stare. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, Tom would know, but this might be one of the very first appearances online 
of Kane Pixels through the work in the environments. Yes way, that's where Kane got his start. Not this? Really? It was not that. Okay. I would have I would have bought it though. I would have bought it though. So what do we have here, everybody? We have Dad having basically a regular day. He soon okay. Dad having a regular day thinking about mom. And then what happens? Dad loves. Dad loves Diane. 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 So we have this interrupting orb that we've seen a lot pop in. Dad actually went to outer space for that shot. Wow. Joey VFX. That side place with something else hard to explain. All right. So this orb pops up. Dad changes thinking. Oh, hold on. So, Dad changes thinking immediately, but then the blue orb appears, and things immediately revert all the way back. And then we see Dad in this crazy environment. You know, we'll, we'll go through the rest of the explanation here as soon as people are back. For now. You will continue watching Dad. Dad makes you feel good. <laughs> With these last remaining seconds of ad time, I'm gonna have some jelly beans. Y'all don't mind. You know, I, uh, I don't know what the hell happened. Um, if somebody redeemed the sound and it didn't pop, hold up. Bro, what? Hold on. Let me go in the back end. Uh... Oh. Oh. Well, that's an error. Oh no, I missed one. In my new setup, I actually missed one. Oh, oh. okay. Yeah, yeah. Mm, ah, sorry. Hold on. Let me just. Uh... <laughs> no, don't bug me. Hello. Well, shit. Uh, I can't. Everything's everything's weird now that I changed my format. Uh, okay. Anyway, now that we're all back, so in review, as we just saw, Dad got interrupted 
and track of thinking changed by, like, the pink orb. Then the blue orb came in and cycled Dad all the way back. And now Dad is having some kind of experience in this high-tech sci-fi environment with flying cars, like hover cars, in this big, big city. Server error, it must be. So you have to ask yourself, what is this? Why is this? Like Blade Runner, yeah. And now we're in Act 2. And probably one of the most stellar check out the budget all of a sudden and filmmaking technique moments that I've seen over the years. This was so, so cool to witness. Oh, wow. What's this? Passionate soul, thank you for 10 months. Probably in reference to my sound error. <laughs> I just really love the technique here for this filming. Like, I know how it was done now, but to watch it in action for the first time and understand that things can get really big all of a sudden in this project was so cool. We have a crashed astronaut. So we have two astronauts, one of which looks just like Dad. And shots of a sky with a planet above that is not belonging to Earth. Interesting. And what appears to be somebody that looks just like Dad being left in that desert after the astronauts are collected, right? <laughs> ah, you see this, Hannah? Nice. And it suggests an entire life between these two ast astronauts. At the time, in the music, there were also lyrics and songs pertaining to Kepler 22b, I believe it was, which is a very far away planet, theorized to be in the Goldilocks zone for potentially habitable planets. So a lot of interesting space things happening all of a sudden here. So that's a bit of place. No cameras. That's good. Surprising, but good. Let's see. No tripwires. All right. Let's see if anybody's home. <laughs> Ooh, just your reflection, Carl. All that coffee and cinnamon buns got me jumpy. Let's get to the bottom of this dead guy. Nobody for miles around. 
Might be the last time old Carl sees the light of day for a while. Yippee Kaye, motherfucker. So I I'm interested now that we're doing this to see where the hell the Carl storyline went because I that one disappeared for quite a while. And I genuinely didn't know what was up with that. So we're gonna see. Oh, hold on. Which orb was that? The blue orb. Now remember, Dad has only had a can of food. But now, pancakes and syrup. Hey, that's cool, Pancakes. Android Priest. Thank you. Wait, where am I? Hey, hey, who are you? Stop, wait, stop! Mm, good food. Thanks, Cheryl. Dad didn't recognize Cheryl after eating the pancake. Mm. The little okay. towel. Mm, food. And then the food brought him back. Mm. Perhaps we should not trust mm -hmm. food. Hey, thanks, Android. Somebody's fading in. Look at the eyes. Okay, weird new character, Laszlo. Where should you should you order food from? Well, earlier we were talking about Taco Bell. <laughs> oh man, where am I? I've never been in this part of town. Mom and Dad are gonna kill me if they find out. But it'll all be worth it once I see Griffin. Oh, he is so cute. I hope he likes my new haircut. I cut it just for him. I know he likes girls with short hair. I like short hair. Sure, why not? It's so late. Come on, Griffin, hurry up. Oh no, my phone's dying. Where is Griffin? He said he would be here. I can't believe the cutest boy in school likes me. The other girls hate it. He is so cute. I'm so lucky. Why isn't he responding? Maybe I should text him again. No, I don't want to text him too much. It'll seem weird. It's scary out here. Oh no, oh no. Oh, and it's dead. There goes my GPS. How am I gonna find my way home now? I don't even know where I am. Oh no. What was that? Daughter in Who's crisis. That? The man in black. Okay, Dad, open your eyes. Surprise! Oh, Cheryl, I can't believe it. We're at restaurant. Oh. You deserve it, Dad. 40k subscribers is a lot. So daughter and I wanted to do something nice for you. This is the greatest night I've ever had today. <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. Of course. I love that line. Wait. Where is daughter? I don't know. I haven't seen her in a couple of days. 
I went out looking for her the other night, but I didn't see her anywhere. She's been acting very rebellious lately. I wonder if this has anything to do with that boy Griffin she's been hanging out with. Well, I'm sure she's okay. She's a smart girl. Food at the restaurant sure would taste better with my whole loving family here. Well, we'll still have a great time together, like in our old young days. So what are you going to order? I don't know. There are so many options. I'll probably just order a can of food to make it easy. Well, you can have whatever you want. Hmm. Daughter? Daughter? Hi, Mom. Um, daughter, where have you been? I was out with my friends. For days? Yeah, I slept over at my friend's house. You have to tell us when you're going out for more than a few hours. Yeah, all right, fine. Huh. All right. Days. Okay, happen again. All right, well, good. The guy behind them's a little strange, huh? We ordered you a present, Dad. A present? What is it? Close your eyes. Oh, Dad loves surprises. Okay, open them. Oh, wow! Little towels! Congratulations, Dad. Oh, thanks, family. I Little towels! We love you, too. Wait. Huh? You can't eat them plain. You have to add some delicious food sauce first. Food sauce. Thanks, Cheryl. Sure, daughter. Cheryl sure is watching intently, huh? Oh, wow. Dad loves eating little towels. They're called pancakes, Dad. Oh, yeah, I know. Are you guys going to eat anything? No, I still have a stomach full of work stress to burn off. Tea is fine for me. I already ate at my friends. What kind of psycho goes to an IHOP and has tea? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, yeah, I, I got, I gotta love the, the sheer strangeness. And is that neighbor? What's neighbor doing here? Hello, one Mario bro. Thank you. I love this scene because, well, we've never been outside of the environment for Dad until now. And it's clear that we're in, like, an IHOP IHOP. But we've also still got the one singular camera position thing going on, which still allows storytelling to occur, <laughs> even beyond the current table. And then, yeah, so here we go. All of a sudden, they're getting antsy. Goodbye. <laughs> Glasses guy, sunglasses guy is gone. And now neighbor approaches. Hey Cheryl, you look nice. Hi dad, daughter. How are you doing? Mm. Hey, neighbor. Hey, when did you learn to speak with your mind? Been yeah, my daughter's time. phone has been so upgraded. I can talk to my favorite family. That's great, neighbor. But the way you speak sounds more like telepathetic to me. <laughs> <laughs> Good dad joke, dad. I know. 
Neighbor, we're out celebrating Dad's 40,000 subscribers. Wow, that's... Another excellent crazy. point, Hannah. Because Good everything day. is exactly People like this. And it's something to Who observe do? throughout <laughs> the series. Yes, Neighbor, they do. Dad is the best YouTuber in the universes. Actually, she's the best YouTuber. Ugh, Dad hates her videos. Ugh, turn it off. Shouldn't you be going home, neighbor? Nope. I got no one there waiting for me. I'm not as lucky as Dad here. That's right. You're not. That's a but sly you snipe in the waiting. waiting for you at home. <laughs> Why don't you go visit that? Hey, Dad, I'm only joking around. I'm happy for you. Congrats on the 40,000 subs. Keep up the good work, huh? See you guys later. Bye, neighbor. But as Hannah was saying, it really is striking, and it does come to mind a lot when you're watching this series about with all the blocking and setup that needs to go on and the actual back and forth acting because of the lack of being able to communicate the lines. So you have to wonder in certain environments how it runs. That was great. Thank you, family. Okay, let's go. Time for bed. All right, Cheryl. You're the boss. Hey, daughter, what's a pancakes job in a baseball game? What? Batter. <laughs> Ugh, dad. And then dad has a nice day off. I think this was for Father's Day, Hi, right? Dad. Happy Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, dad. Another Since thing you've you got to love. Twelve thousand seven hundred thirty-eight hours a week at company to provide for family. On top of being the best pop star and YouTuber, you deserve a little break. It's time for Dad to relax with a nice can of food on the grill. So put your feet up and enjoy the calming red glow from True Value shining upon your dad head, warming your aura. Can do. <laughs> I just, I absolutely love how legitimate this is. Like, this really happened. <laughs> just setting up outside of True Value on the side of the road and filming it. <laughs> and throughout it, you get these little glimpses. I miss you, Andon. Who's Andon? Wasn't that the second, the second astronaut? Who is that outside the true value? Who is this weirdo? Hi, Dad. Crothers? You're from my dream. Was that real? What is real, Dad? Hmm. I know it's real. Okay, context. Um, I guess it wasn't included in here. There was uh, a video before this, if I remember correctly, where Crothers did appear in a dream with Dad and announced himself as Crothers. And also, there's another mysterious figure now across the street at True Value. Watching. In dark clothing. This gift from True Value. What is it? It's for you, Dad. But don't open it until you're ready. When will I be ready? You'll know. How, how will I know? You're not really giving me a lot to work with. Oh, okay. Well, hang on a second. Goodbye, Dad. M.E.K. Sama, thanks for the 100 bits. Why does this make me think about when I played around with my toys hey, when I was a kid? Yeah, Dialogue and the characters remind me of that. It does feel, probably because of the simplicity of the dialogue and just the kind of really where acting style of it to add to the whole feel.
And of course here we have the colors of the orbs that keep appearing in battle with each other. The pink and the blue. <gasps> Neighbor! How dare! So, earlier on, if you remember in the flashback just now, while Dad was sitting on the lawn chair, when a kind of flashback occurred in which he saw that woman who was the second astronaut, the name Andin was said. And that name did come across earlier in one of the videos very briefly. So there's an Andin in this picture here. And something prominent with that, that second astronaut. So keep that in mind. And the mom book! What is Neighbor playing at? How's your vacation to Belize? Well, that sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm sure. The life of an Instagram traveler sounds rough. Oh, you know, the same old thing. Teaching the team at work some new forms of vortex creation. Nine to five, nothing new. Fucking what, ma'am? Teaching the team at work some new forms of vortex creation. Wow! That's, uh... Yeah, that's an everyday job. Okay, Cheryl. You want to come over? Aren't you tired from being on the plane all day? Okay, sure, if you really want to. Five minutes? Don't you want to go home from the airport first? Okay, whatever you want. It'll be nice to catch up. We can have some wine and talk. Dad and daughter at True Value all night for the sale of a century sale, so... What? Oh, you're not coming. Okay, well, maybe this weekend? Diane? Hello? Yeah, when Dad's <laughs> not there, I bail too. Dad can dance, Cheryl. Can your fucking vortexes dance? For like, six hours straight? Wow, is this familiar? <laughs> so this is just dad naming new subscribers. Brent Smith, Matt R, Jeremy Party, KFK 1986, Tio Bluecore, Own Daddy Jack 31, Alex Korpinski, Born Wizard Gaming, Coop Dulu, Walter Peck 1, Chess Paranoid 72, Lonnie 556, The Charming Platypus, Mr. J, J Dorsey 9, Brandon Wallace. Because you gotta remember as this is all happening, dad is still pursuing uh, his goals, which is to become the number one YouTuber in the universe is and uh, uploading new music, new music videos. So we're not seeing a lot of that right here because this is the complete story. So it's just only giving us the story in progress. But from time to time, dad would go ahead and talk about his progress. And as you saw earlier at the restaurant, Cheryl enjoys dad's progress. Not just encouraging it, but seems to be enjoying it. Hmm. Fiend 78, Kyle Hall, Jacob Baker, Stinko Court 123, Lolo War Necro Vomiter, The Brev 2995, Enrico Michelli, Jeremiah Rajan, Come Up Okay as an Artist, Michael Frost, Flying Spider Baby, Miguel Briarly, Spooky Skeleton, Onyxium 88, Siatomi, Two Fat Man Scoops, Derek McKean, Morden is Alive, Keel Hair Violin, Robbie That Punk, Alejandro Guzman, Maxwell Rosenblum, Kevin Goggin, Proto D, Erica Killian, Regilia Buma, Platypus, John Wayne, Jimmy, Rory Doherty, Straight <laughs> Jeffin, Igor Holanda, H9K, H9K, Impact 93, 702 Wolf, Adam McClendon, 
They okay, yeah, I got under the jelly beans again, all right? Sanders there, it's it. Josh Fine, <laughs> Evil Monkey G2, Logan Winston, Squirrel Master, Rose... Okay, I get it. We all know our main objective. If you can't accomplish that, then there is no reason for you to be here. I've been over the phases of entanglement 100 times and we're not getting anywhere. I really need you to pay attention and prove to me that you're not just mere astrophysicists. What was that? Astrophysicist? What? It's, it's a dude! The, the dude! Anyone else have a comment? Whoa, hold up. Walk that back, everybody. All right. Hold up. So that's the dude from the restaurant, who is probably also the person who picked up daughter, who is probably also the person who was standing across the street at True Value, and wearing a YouTube patch. Fuck the what? What does YouTube have to do with astrophysicists? <laughs> I guess we gotta find out after the break. Mom's job is weird. You're right. I will sip some coffee. <sighs> so how are y'all enjoying dad? I'm enjoying this recap. I uh, just uh, straight up. Oh fuck, what the hell? Can a, can a hair just play with his triggers without fucking up the whole video? Anyway. Wow, that was quite a sight that we accidentally jumped to. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. All right. We're back. All right. <clears throat> so, yeah, what is going on? I've been over the phases of entanglement 100 times, and we're not getting astrophysicists. What was that? Yeah, so we have YouTube G-Man here, working with Cheryl, who is working on vortex creation with astrophysicists. And it's like, what? <laughs> it's a very strange scenario. Anyone else have a comment? Good. Now let's go over the non cloning theorem again. Non cloning theorem. Entanglement. Quantum violations. What? Okay. Diane sure was acting strange on the phone yesterday. Maybe she was tired from her trip. Mom should check in with her to make sure everything's okay. And now we're back to Cheryl being mom. So nice. I remember these. And I love lilies. I, I haven't smelled lilies in so long. Wait a second. Hmm. Mm, fresh cut lumber. Mom's favorite. What is going on? 
Now there's like a red orb. And there's two G-Men! I know, it's a horrifying discussion. <laughs> Carl. Uh huh. Just as I thought. Oh, Carl is on to you. And back to this. A message. Hey, break a leg, Sarex. Interesting. That's not Earth Sky. Oh, so many bills. Three hundred and seventy-two thousand seven hundred and ninety-four dollars for that Wi-Fi bill. My daughter's cell phone bill is through the roof. <laughs> How much is she talking to that boy Griffin? How's Dad gonna pay for all this? Hey, Dad. Oh, hi, Cheryl. You remember my friend Diane, right? Diane's here? Diane. <laughs> hey, no problem, Technic Colorful. Okay, I know you guys just couldn't resist that shot. <laughs> I don't blame you. Oh, oh, Diane? Yeah, sure. Uh, I guess. Hey, Diane. Hi, good to see you again. It's good to smell you too. Mm. Ah, the smell. See you later. And then... And then incapacitated. So there you go.
whatever is going on in terms of Andin, that is who Dad is. And the blue orb wanted him to kind of wake up there. Dad has a name, yes. And something is going on there when it comes to Diane. Which is probably why oh, Diane you, wanted to come hey, over uh, earlier. What's oh? up? Not much. Same task every day. Tell me about it. It would be nice to do something new, but I'm made to only secure parameters. Wish I was 118. He gets to go out. Yeah, he's monitoring the live streams. Must be nice. You do the runs to the old basin, right? Yeah, and other drives. Need to do one tonight. Daughter is out. Hey, where is the old basin? Nowhere near here. It's in another dimension. Oh, smart. They have to bend space-time so I can get out there. It's also back in 99, so no one here will find it. Perfect place to hide stuff. You dropped Nathan there? Yeah, and we crashed And in there. I made the swap. Now if anyone fights Nathan and he says he's from the future, he'll just sound insane. Well, to be honest, he sounded like it in 2019, too. <laughs> Good one. Uh, poor guy. <laughs> what? Elite Kesu, thank you for coming in with your raiders. Hello, and thank you. Hope you had a good stream. Appreciate you. A two-foot rabbit who lives on the moon. Well, hello to another long-eared person. All right, so, yeah. Big, big explanation drop here. A lot of information. So... These dudes are made. There are several of them doing all sorts of tests. And there is... They are bending space-time. Other dimension. Oh, smart. They're, they're bending space-time to reach another dimension. They have to bend space-time so I can get out there. It's also back in 99, so no one here will find it. Perfect place to hide stuff. You dropped Nathan there? Yeah, and we crashed And in there. They crashed And in there. So they dropped a character named Nathan. That's who we saw as the, as the clothed guy being dropped while the astronaut was taken. And that astronaut must have been Andin. Yeah, you don't casually bend space-time. And it's in 1999, of all things. And let's, let's get the rest of the review on, on the context here. I made the swap. Now if anyone fights Nathan and he says he's from the future, he'll just sound insane. Well, to be honest, he sounded like it in 2019, too. <laughs> Good one. Uh, poor guy. <laughs> right. So we have a crashed astronaut named Andin who was taken from 1999 all the way to here who is now dad and a man named Nathan who was swapped in his place from 2019 into 1999. And for what? Oh, oh, Tazin, don't, don't tell me that. Come on, please. Especially because I know that you're probably right. <laughs> okay, that makes me feel better, Starboy. Thank you. Yagi VT, thank you for the seven months. Could Nathan be Nathan Bardet? <gasps> Maybe. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. So now that we know that there is some weird space dimension time fuckery going on, let's keep going. Uh huh. Just as I thought. Oh, Carl is on time. A 
Okay. This is when Carl assassinates one of the YouTube G-Men. All right, Carl. Keep it cool. What would Deckard do? Observe and take notes. He's taking the tram. Can't believe how big this facility is. They fit a whole tram system in here. Okay, what is he up to? Huh. He's got a phone. What? He's texting the server. Is the server a person? But a server is a computer program or device that provides functionality for other programs or devices called clients. So they're clients. And he's off to find daughter? Gotta write this down. She's gonna regret firing me once y'all solve this. Taxi. Time to get out of this place. Driver, follow that tram. Then head to the diner. Old Carl got a major breakthrough and needs to celebrate with some cinnamon bun stew. Somewhat. <laughs> okay. What was that? So they're all there... clients serving the server. Oh, it's you. Your battery is dead. Here is a new phone. Oh, wow. A new phone. Thank you. Hey, does my dad know you came to bring me this? He'd be so upset if he knew I snuck out. No, clients are imperceptible to his kind. What? AV software runs in the background, and he cannot perceive what we do. You're unique. What does that even mean? Whatever, I need to leave Griffin a message. Hey Griffin, it's daughter. I <laughs> Literally having a Matrix moment. And she's like, um, okay, well, back to my... Back to my DMs. Uh, bye. <laughs> I need to go home. It's too late. Just meet me at the park tomorrow after school. Miss you. <laughs> so dad can't see the clients. Which means that dad is being programmed some way. Two phones, okay, as one does. Prom. Please, Griffin, ask me to go to the prom with you. Then all the other girls will see us together, and you'll have to vote us as prom champions. Okay, Griffin, play it cool. All you gotta do is just act normal. There she is. Hi, girlfriend. Griffin, I missed you. I miss you too, Dee. Hey, you think your dad would play Minecraft with me? What? <laughs> How do you like Minecraft? Okay. Good to see you too. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. At this time, another context thing. At this time, dad was also doing live streams. Effectively, in the early days, Dad was doing anything and everything that seemed like popular YouTuber tactics. Any sort of growth hack, major trending stuff, Dad would do, like Let's Plays of Minecraft. So now, Griffin is basically admitting, Yeah, I watch your dad, he's cool. <laughs> it is good to see you. I like you, girlfriend. My dad doesn't play video games. He does taxes with his calculator. He always loses. Well, I saw him play Minecraft on his YouTube. You watch my dad's YouTube? Yeah, he's awesome. Um, okay, anyway. Wasn't school the worst today? Yeah, I had to go to math class and solve all the problems. Then I had to go to English class and write all the words. Ugh, tell me about it. Teachers just want to torture us. Yeah, Mo I told you I'm smart enough. Stop stuffing my brain or it might puke. Hey. Ew, gross. Thank you for the 12 months, horse. Hey, Dee, you ever see your dad in your neighbor's yard? I don't think so. He says neighbor's lawn looks like Gollum's back hair, so I don't think he ever goes over there. Why? Does he ever talk about your neighbor's yet? I don't know. Oh, the fucking ironing. Straight to my dome. After all this time. Me and my ass playing Minecraft on live streams. It just fucking used to laugh at this shit back in the day. 
and I just oh how the turntables <laughs> you're actually playing it now while listening to me oh god what are we in the fuck is this reality what is happening in my life what am I now chat wake me the fuck up this can't be my life what happened to me I was just a YouTuber! I just made videos! It's okay, it's okay. I'm still in control. I'm still in control. I'm still in control. I'm still in control. I'm still in <gasps> Oh, hey, Emma Lama's here. Hi. Hey. Feeling sassy? <laughs> Hi, Emma Lama and Raiders. Hello! Hi. Hi. Hmm. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> Thank you for the raid. Oh, Welcome on me. in. Hello, hello, hello. How you doing? So, for those who don't know, Emma Llama is fucking cool. I think if you dig Emma's vibes, I mean, if you if you dig my vibes, you will dig Emma's vibes. Especially if you like uh. Yeah, spooky, scary, and, uh, mixed with some other flavors. <laughs> and Fred! No, you. No, you. You did some comfy DS too? Nice. And a Fred snuck in. <laughs> all the flavors. Yes, all the flavors. <laughs> well, I'm glad you had a good time, and thank you so much for bringing your people by. I will be sure to show them a good time. Meanwhile, let me let me get this this taken care of. Yeah, there we go. Get loved on Twink. <laughs> How are me and my lovely chat today? We're doing fantastic. I just had an existential crisis for a second, but other than that, I'm doing just fine. And uh, we are currently going through Dad, The Complete Story, which is an unfiction project that I covered years ago. And uh, I made two videos on it. I made the original video that I did, and then I made an update video, and then I didn't get back to it as it kept updating because life was happening, and it was kind of hard to get back in amidst everything. But then, Dad had the, good, had the good sense to throw together a complete story video with everything that was happening so anybody could just sit down and watch and enjoy and get the story. And that's what we're doing! And there's plenty of people here who have not seen Dad before. So, we're able to go ahead and enjoy it together. I get to review, I get to explain some things, and I'll get to see all sorts of stuff that I had no idea about. Which rocks. Has Dad actually completed? No. So, is it a complete story? No. <laughs> but we're having fun anyway. It's a documentary. It is a documentary. It is Dad's life. And Dad is here, by the way. Uh, right there in Dad Feels. Dad is infinite, yes. <laughs> oh, Fred! Oh my god! <laughs> and also, wow, I, I didn't know Slush had that. <laughs> Yes, as Tazin says, we have Daddy watching Dad. Mm -hmm. You got two different flavors of Dad today. Lucky, lucky you. But, uh, yeah, Dad in bio. <laughs> no, not Dad in bio! But, yes, thank you, thank you again, Emma, for taking all your people by here. Thank you for the raid. Much appreciated. And uh, we're going to go on and continue with Dad here. But yeah, for context, season one is complete, if you can call it that. All right, all right. 
I feel you. I feel you. Season one, season one. All right. All right. Dad's quest to be the best YouTuber in the universe is not yet done. I see. But yes, Griffin is admitting here that he watches Dad. <laughs> Why do you want to talk about my dad? Let's talk about us. How much do you like me? There's a lot of gay smut stories that start this way. I like you all the way. Yeah, me too. <laughs> hey, you like riding bikes? Yeah. Do you want to go for a ride? Stacy's yeah, dad maybe. has got, got a going bike? on. Yeah. Some the other day mowing the lawn. Can you share? We don't Shirtless have and sweaty, he had really? it going. <laughs> dad keeps all that kind of stuff in the garage. Your dad ever think about getting a shed? He always talks about building one with the quality supplies from True Value. You think he's jealous of your neighbor's shed? I don't know. Oh my god, you know what, Giga, you nailed it. Stacy's dad has got me down bad. <laughs> Why do you keep talking about my dad? I think he's a cool guy. I like his YouTube videos. He's so embarrassing. He's always shaking his weird dad bod to his songs. Hey, we should go to your place and see he's working on a song about building a shed like your neighbors. No, that sounds like a horrible idea. <laughs> Let's go to the mall and get some cans of frozen food. All right, cool. You go ahead. I'll meet you there. Do you have to do something? Yeah, just some, uh, just some boy stuff. Okay. Hurry up. We also yeah, call it boy soon. stuff. Whoa, daughter, slow down. Don't want to look too eager. I just want to look mildly excited. Intermission for a dad bod video? Why the fuck not? I have it on another tab already. Dad. Shake my dad buns like they're pom-poms Move my body to the rhythm of the song I'm the smoothest dad living under sun Left my planet now looking for some fun Dad's moves rival Michael Jackson Shake that dad bod dad Shake that dad bod dad Moving like a human Shake that dad bod dad Shake that dad bod dad Shake that dad bod dad, that dad, bod, dad. Moving like a human Shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, break it down. Shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, break it down. Dad desires to build a deck. Human sweat seeping out of his neck. Dad's arms are filled with strength. Neighbor will see how strong he is. Then that night at the barbecue Dad will party the entire night through Neighbor will stop and watch in awe His dad's moves break scientific law ha! Shake that dad bod dad Shake that dad bod dad Moving like a human Shake that dad bod dad yeah. Shake that dad bod dad yeah. Shake that dad bod dad yeah. Moving like a human Shake that dad bod dad yeah. Shake that dad Shake that dad bod dad, shake that dad bod dad, moving like a human. Shake that dad bod dad, shake that dad bod dad, shake that dad bod dad, moving like a human. Shake that dad bod yeah, shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, break it down. Shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, shake that dad bod, break it down. <laughs> ah, that was a good bod break. <laughs> Song so good it goes on my grinder profile. <laughs> nice.
also what a fucking amazing <laughs> prophecy for fulfilled that was neighbor will see how strong he is <laughs> <laughs> fucking legit i love it You remember her mentioned dad dancing for four hours? When is that? Oh, that's, um, those videos are on the dad channel. You can find them. You gotta go way down the line or just go and hit the tab that sorts it from oldest to newest, but it's there. Reset. Work is really starting to pile up. For scientists, you'd think these people would catch on faster. We're only on quantum tangibility. Mom may need to request some brighter candidates. Hey, Dad, well, thanks for making bops. <laughs> Mom speaks every language and frequency, but layman is not one of them. How do they expect us to take over? Uh oh. Ad break. So, what was it that Cheryl just said? For scientists, you'd think these people would catch on faster. We're only on quantum tangibility. Quantum tangibility. That's quite a job. Aw, oh, thank you, Mama Sama. Jelly bean time. I can have these. I, I am still, I am in the last phases of my muscle massing cycle, okay? I can have jelly beans. I need this to show my neighbor how strong I am. <laughs> what flavor of jelly beans? It's Brax Jelly Beans Classic. Ah. You're back, yes. Okay. Beans are packed with protein. Regular beans, yes. Jelly beans, no. This is like all carb, but fuck it. So yeah, now Cheryl's talking about quantum tangibility. Mom may need to request some brighter candidates. Mom speaks every language and frequency, but layman is not one of them. How do they expect us to take over? Oh, Diane is here. I should go change into something less cute for subconscious comparability. <laughs> all right, vacuuming's all done. What should Dad do now? Hmm, maybe Dad should start building his shed to show Neighbor what a real shed looks like. What is a Neighbor's shed? Why was there a blue light coming from under the door? And did Dad hear humming? Hmm, or... Dad could play more of the digital visual entertainment Minecraft that all the kids are playing. I wonder if he could build a shed in Minecraft. Maybe there's a true value in Minecraft. If Dad, have you... Did you build the true value in Minecraft? Did you do that? We need to know. Dad played Minecraft. He might be the number one YouTuber faster than he thought. Maybe Dad should boot up the e-computer and give this game another whirl. Hey, Dad. Oh, hi, Cheryl. <laughs> oh, uh, hey, hey, Diane. Hi. Good to see you again. Yeah, yeah. Good, good to see you, too. Build a dad oh, shed no. in Minecraft. Okay, fuck it. We'll put it on the list. We will build, we will build a dad shed in Minecraft. 
I will build a dad shed, okay? We will make our cabin, and right on the premises will be a dad shed. Let's, let's make it happen. Let's do it. Perfume on my hand from when we greeted. Is sniffing cheating? Oh no, I can smell it. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, yeah, hi, I'm just looking for boogers inside my nose. <laughs> oh, there they are. <laughs> I just love laughing. Abner never tells me jokes. You should come over and tell me dad jokes sometime. Like your famous pancake joke. Oh, I love that one. Uh, I don't know if that's- You did build the true value? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Oh, the orb is here. Such a, yes, I will come over and tell you jokes anytime, Diane. Great! Oh, bye, Dad. Bye, Cheryl. Bye-bye, Diane. Mm. Huh? Cheryl? Oh. Poor food. <laughs> Gosh, what a triangle. Mom is thinking about Dad. Dad is thinking about Diane. Daughter is thinking about Griffin. But Griffin is thinking about Dad. <laughs> you must be there for that. What, when I build a dad shed? <laughs> Lay it on me. He's meeting with neighbor. What'd you find out? And Fred is thinking about Nick. <gasps> <laughs> Bye, Fred. You know you can do more than just think. <laughs> Nick is thinking about Fred. Give me every steamy detail. Well, I'm not sure he's been going to your yard or not. But I think he's planning to build a shed. She say if he's ever looked in my... When's the Fred and Nick kissing emote? <laughs> what? The one, like, the one that uh, Lumi and Alfie have? I, I guess we'll put it in order. <laughs> my shit? No. She just kept changing the subject. She doesn't like talking about her dad. Look, kid, I need to make sure he yeah, never that gets one. in there. Read my lips. Comprende? Why? What's in there? Don't worry about it. Well, I don't know how much I can keep asking her stuff like this. I don't want to ruin our relationship. Oh, God. We're the coolest kids in school. I'm thinking about asking her to the prime so we can become the prime champions. <laughs> That's cute. Well, funny thing is, I've been using my intelligence, and guess what it tells me? It's time to find a new plan. I need you to get in their house and do something for me. Well, I haven't even been over there yet. You're the neighbor. Can't you just go in and do it? No, he's suspicious of me. It needs to be you. You're an innocent kid. I don't know. Does this change your mind? All right, fine. I thought so. Kids love corners. So here's what you got to do. Neighbor is sneaky. Dad is getting down to, down bad. Okay, let's take a look. Physics, astrophysics, 
astrophysics, science, wormholes, void, tangibility, time vortex, entanglements, damn. <laughs> Infinity, yeah. <laughs> oh shit, she's getting into Stellaris. <laughs> It is interesting how the red orb uh, manages to mess up mom, too. Like, this thing is really working overtime. Dad has strong feelings. Oh, Dad no. Dad needs to express his feelings. Sarah Jessica and Robert Downey. Brad and Angela. Demi and Bruce. Johnny and Winona. Kurt and Courtney. Selena and Justin. Diane and Abner. I think we get it, Dad. Mom and Dad. No! No! That's the American story! Gee, I wonder what the true value gift is. Hey, Dad. Just the guy I wanted to see. Wanted to come over and show you my brand new mustache. Whoa, whoa. Where did you get that? Hey, neighbor. Oh, this? It's my new beard. It's bigger than a mustache. Not really what I was expecting to see. Pretty. Nick and Carbs, I... <laughs> Once this cut starts, basically. Actually, that's not true. For fitness advice, in order to man manage on a cut, you do need your carbs. Don't cut them down until the very last week of any sort of cycle in which you need to flush out the water weight. <laughs> you need the carbs, the power of the exercise to actually get the... You're only bulking, never cutting? Okay, Tom. Let me know how that works for you. <laughs> when you achieve muscle bear, I guess you'll feel fulfilled? Maybe? Be nice, huh? Dad has over 1,000 hairs banding together across 16 inches of the front of Dad's face to protect him from the elements. I like beards because of how they're so much massively bigger than mustaches. Well, it might be bigger, <laughs> but mustaches are a classic facial accessory that stand the test of time. Oh, look at that. Your lips have bangs. It's a mustache. Maybe if it was a little thicker, from where Dad is standing, it looks like lip bangs. What does that even mean? You know, like you sneezed out doll hair. Maybe if you ate more cans of food, you'd have more testosterone, and a beard would fall out of your face. Well, I may not have a beard, but I have a brand new shed. You see that, Dad? I did. Mm-hmm. Did you build it yourself? Yep, with the click of a button. Used the old server to log online, then ordered it from Dirk's Discount Tools. He dropped it off. Looks good, huh? Not really. What's the matter? You jealous? Because you don't have a shed? Dad will build his own shed, and not only will it be bigger than neighbors, it will be apocalypse proof. Yeah, I'd like to see that. So what's in your shed? Whoa, why? Dad just wants to know the tools neighbor has. Oh yeah, tools. Bought lots of tools. Got them all at Dirk's Discount Tools. Got drill bits, pliers, caulking, plaster, weed whacker, belt grinder, even a lathe. Wow, a lathe? Yep. Real cheap stuff, too. Okay, that's a flex. Could break it any second. <laughs> Why wouldn't you just go to True Value? 
Dad's tools never break. Look, you buy a hammer at true value and you might be stuck with that thing for life. Buy one at Dirks, it's bound to break on the first hit. That's how- Sarge, is half my- is half my streaming already not technically a fitness podcast? <laughs> Like, the amount of times that we actually, like, stop to, to talk about it, or I stop to talk about it. Like, wow. <laughs> I mean, technically. How I like to live on the edge, like the thick mustache on the edge of my face. You like to live on the edge, Dad? Huh? Then get your ass to Dirks. True. Ah! Oh! No. Jeez! <laughs> Dad oh! refuses to compromise. never authorized any scarlet upgrade how could it have oh, oh have the scarlet go. upgrade chapter oh, oh, okay. Okay. Oh. hey cheryl i have a surprise for you oh boy open it surprise i grew you a beard oh wow dad why because <laughs> i thought you'd like it well honey i like it if you like it oh you don't like it I'm just not used to seeing you with so much hair. I thought maybe if I had facial hair, you'd want to give me a kiss on the cheek again, like the old days. <laughs> is that what this is about? Dad, I like you with bald hair or all hair. It doesn't matter. Okay, I'll shave it. Well, wait. What if you just adjusted the beard a little? There. Mm. That looks like a nice beard. That looks like a mustache. Oh, is that what you call it? Who knew? Well, do you want Dad to grow a mustache? Do whatever you want, Dad. It's up to you. Mwah. Oh! Did Dad get his kiss on the cheek? <gasps> no. Cheek was covered by beard. Oh. Poor Dad. any scarlet upgrade hey look accidental <laughs> accidental name drop of the homie oh friend I think if if that's a reference I I wish I got it <laughs> It sure was nice seeing Diane again. She's such a ball of energy. Jamie's uncle. See if she and Abner want to do a double date with Dad. <laughs> no, don't apologize. You could watch major motion images on the big screen. Just means there's something that I don't know about yet. Oh, Dad. Maybe you can explain it later in my shed. Hmm. Maybe Mom overreacted when she saw Dad's magazine. Oh, but motorcycles are so dangerous. What if something was to happen to him? Mom and daughter would be so upset. I should go talk with Dad and sort it all out. VTubing be like. <laughs> Dad. 
Dad? What's going on? Are you okay? Huh? Yeah. Dad's fine. I wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, God, what is that smell? Sorry. I've been eating cases of food and my human body filled up, so I took the farts and put them in the air to make room. <laughs> Excuse me, you're being awfully rude. Sorry, I can't really talk right now. I'm in the middle of work. It's getting dark and if I don't hurry up, the creepers will show up and take all my supplies. What are you talking about? It's- I relate to dad now more than ever. <laughs> so something I love about this, by the way, is uh, is that a Minecraft dad? That rocks. I can't. I can't remember if I said this in a pre or, uh, a prior video too. But um, in terms of set work, I love the custom things that are created for Dad. Like the e computer here. Look at that thing. I love the look of that thing. Dad did make a VTuber avatar thanks to Iron Mouse. Fucking what? You gotta explain that shit at some point and show me. We've gotta see that. And and because of Mouse? What? What? I know it's a small world, but what? I I gotta I gotta see I gotta get this explanation. Noon. In Minecraft, Cheryl. Come on. You're playing Minecraft? I thought you were working from home today. Nah, I don't go to work anymore. What do you mean? It's not my thing. What? This happened? Iron Mouse is in the series and on the song Beyond. This is what happens when I don't keep up with shit. <sighs> the price I pay for no, not no lifing Nightmind anymore. Fuck. I guess we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll stop for that video when we get to that point. Wow. Damn, son. Minecraft's my thing. Look, I'm building a huge arena with my friends where I hold dad's sledge fest games and we smash giant towers. It's the most fun Dad has ever had. Dad, I think you should shut it off now. Please, put your pants on and go to work. Minecraft. Um... Minecraft, 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 Oh, I know Digital Calibrator. Thank you. Okay, so despite what you're going to see occur here, uh, advice for everybody. Internet creators and personalities also be, be wise. Heed these words. Food that you leave out at room temperature over the course of hours is not safe to consume anymore the following day or morning. Don't do it. 
This has been your public service announcement. That's pretty old. And I don't have any food sauce to go with it. What should Dad do? No buts. Dad knows. He'll vacuum off all the dirt. Mm. Okay, Taz, and well, enjoy your violent shitting and puking. There we go. Ready to eat. Mm, so good. <laughs> no, Fred. <laughs> Dad's awake. Anden is awake. Gaming woke? No. Pancake woke. Yeah, tiny towels are pancakes. Stop thinking. How do you expect me to do that? Will you just be here? Easier said than done. Or you can stand in front of the micro collider for a few minutes. That'll clear your head. Mm. We're gonna miss you. The kids don't want you to leave. I'll be back before you even know I left. I hate these missions. Ella, it's a routine run. I've done a dozen. You know that. Well, I don't like it. CFB is too unpredictable. Of course we will, Dan. put a base there if it wasn't safe. <sighs> Just hurry home. Please. Mm, you should tell Emily. She's the one who likes to triple check her work. Will you promise me that this is your last run? I promise. Then I'll be on Kepler every day, driving you crazy. <sighs> hey, if we can make a jump on the way home, maybe you'll be younger when I get back. Great. I get an old grump to replace this young grump. Would you still love me if I was old and bald? I can't promise anything. Lime Town. Oh, Just hurry I haven't heard that in years. I will. <clears throat> I remember everything. I crashed. I need to get out of this place. Find somewhere with better range. I gotta find it. Okay. So for those who are anyway confused about that, Andin is from Kepler-22b with his wife Ella, and he does have a family. He is a dad. He is working for a company that goes by the initials DAD, and he needed to go on one last work mission for them. We don't know the nature of the mission, but he went on it. And through some crazy time vortex astrophysics thing that was going on, Cheryl seemed to crash and in into that pocket dimension in time in 1999 and then abducted him while replacing him with a lookalike named Nathan. He was one mission to retirement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Emily, and get back to Kepler. What happened on CFB? Hell, I had a feeling about this. It's time I got some answers. Yeah, CFB. So CFB appears to be the base that they were headed to. It was Anton and Emily. So Ella is home. Emily seems to be the co-worker. And they were headed to CFB, their base. And something happened along the way. They probably got plucked by Cheryl and whatever she's up to. Dad, I'm home. I got you a present. <sighs> He's going to be so surprised. He deserves it, too. He works so hard for family. I just hope he's careful on that thing. Well, we just need to trust that he's done his research and he knows. I don't know. What is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, this is going to ruin everything. He's off the chain, oh, no. sweetheart. I think he's going to... Okay, we're on an ad break, and I need to get up for a second, so we're going to do a be right back during the ad break. Be right back. Enjoy these messages.
Okay. I am back. I have a protein drink and uh, a snack on the side. It's not just jelly beans, all right? Don't worry. <laughs> I got needs. I got dietary needs, and I take care of them. Obsessively. <laughs> We gotta go, please. Will you just come with me, please? Okay, go where? What's going on? He's gone. He got out, and we have to find him, please. What, Dad? He's always going places. Not the software no, track. Not Dad. Andon. He woke up, and now he's gone. Well, did he get in the shed? Wait. Wait. Talk to me in here. Well, is the shed all right? Yes, but we have to go find him. Look, Cheryl, I don't know if I can keep this up anymore. Do you have someone over? Oh. Would it matter if I did? Please, Malvin, I need you right now. You, you promised you'd be by my side. Yeah, well, that was before I knew what was really involved. This is insanity, Cheryl. You know how hard it is for me to sit out there in that weird facility and watch you guys play house? I know, but you have to trust me. It'll all be worth it. When, huh? How long is this whole thing gonna last? We're making progress. I've heard it all before. I made it out to number nine on the last test. Really? Yes. So if that exists? God, Malvin, can we talk about this in the car? We need to find him. I'm sorry, Cheryl. I just can't do this anymore. I quit. <clears throat> wow. Please, Malvin. Give me a second. I'll meet you in the car. All right, let me tell my hookup to beat it. <laughs> Yes, so they have been keeping Andon captive, but there is a dad mm -hmm. somewhere in the facility. Just as a thumb. A neighbor has been posing as a neighbor. Oh, Carl's on to Oh, as for my favorite protein drink, uh, it's it's a mix of two. I mean, the best thing that you can grab at any point is Muscle Milk brand. Especially if you need it fast. But uh, I go with that and Ghost brand. I have a lot of... Everything else that I take from this is Ghost. <laughs> because obviously... And yeah, I do put them together. One of the best things you can do at home... Milk, one scoop of ghost, flavor of choice, one scoop of muscle okay. milk, chalk out, uh, chocolate. Find a ride, get supplies, then get back to Andon. Hey, doesn't that look like that Laszlo person we've seen? Huh. What flavor of ghost? Uh, I have Oreo flavor. I have Nutter Butter flavor. Um, and then I just kind of... I alternate between them. I tried Cinnabon, Cinnabon flavor, but it's just... It's good. It hits the mark. But I don't, I don't crave it. I really don't. Yeah, Nutter Butter, it's legit. So there were Why two astronauts. Have to be Earth? Yeah, that's that's what we all say entering, honey. Don't worry. Why did it have to be Earth? Is Nutter Butter good? Fuck yeah, it is. Dad escaped from the facility, which was YouTube. What? <laughs> ba ba ba.
I always knew they were a villain. <laughs> No one has done that, Prats. <gasps> How dare you? So this was an interesting time in the dad series. Oh my god! It's my baby. Hey there, hop stuff. Uh, yeah, you know <laughs> that's. A hey there, yourself. You cute little thing. You uh, you seeing anybody? Cause you could be. <laughs> Shout out to my beloved Graphigato. Thank you, Mystic. That is appropriate. <laughs> my my dear my dear sweet Graphy. Thank you. My my legitimately beloved right next door. Separated by a wall. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Thank you so much, dear. Welcome in, Graffy Raiders. You know that scene in uh, Iron Man 3 in the flashback when Tony's walking around in the party when there's a bunch of name tags and the name tag says, just, you know who I am? Well, there you go. Hi. We're watching Dab. And uh, we have made it to the interesting mountain part of things. There was a lot of live streaming for the story around this time, actually. So, dear, did you finish two dads in one stream? Well, one dad, one daddy. You know how it goes. <laughs> uh... So, dear, did you finish Pacific Drive? Did you reach your destination? Did a car behave on the way? Car wife was not having it as always, but it was chill. Okay, well, there's that at least. And yes, please, if you enjoy me, please follow Graffy, and there will be plenty to enjoy. Graffy likes to play a lot of uh, fun and kind of off the wall things. A lot of a lot of stuff with a good fun Y2K feel mixed in with scary, spooky. Oh my God! What the fuck? Barbecue, what not? Like we enjoy over here. And you know what? If you're enjoying a lot of what I've been doing with the hair already, Graffy will have that for you a lot more often, all year round. And uh, not for nothing, but uh, he is having a brand new fucking debut on April first, and uh, it is gonna be Smackaroonies. So if you want to see something impressive. Um, a new model handcrafted through the art and the rigging by Graffy themselves. Uh, do that. Be there. Debut, are you gaslighting? I, I, 
I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It's a anniversary. I mean, you're you're showing off the first freaking um the third first time you're doing a whole run of Rhythm Master on. So <laughs> it's it's some form of show, I guess. Kitty, hello, Kitty. I didn't even have to. Anniversary, <laughs> yes. Yeah, anniversary. My brain is it. My brain is in debut mode. Oh wow! All week long What's between this? the hair and and what we talked about earlier. That's coming. It's like all I can think about. Like and Mary, Mary all the time with plans and and stuff and whatnot and just. Uh, it's that's where my brain is. It's like anytime I'm thinking of anybody doing anything in the VTuber space lately, my brain defaults to debut, even if it's anything else. <laughs> it's just like I'm a mess with this shit. I'm sorry. Hi, Kitty, and thank you for giving that shout out to Kitty. I was typing it up, but you beat me to it, and I appreciate it. Ha <laughs> ha. Welcome to your debut. I graduated, damn it. <laughs> but yeah. Now, Graffy, Graffy's model is all done by them. The art and the rigging. <laughs> and there's an anniversary happening with a long ass stream that, they're, that he's prepping for. So... All right, back to Dad. Kitty, I hope you're doing well. Thank you for popping in. We're watching a series in in my field called Dad Feels. <sighs> All right, this is high enough. I don't think any of Cheryl's clients are around here. Gotta be close to eight thousand feet now. Wish I had my coadjutor. Still can't hear Ella. Elevation may not be the answer. I need to find some sort of boost. I'm a long way from any technology. Hell, this whole damn plan is a long way from technology. What did that guy say about the big assortment? I'm too hungry to think. Could be a long drive. I may as well get some food first. Okay, so this is Amden managing to escape. My amaze, thank you for the 12 months. Wanna get some food, baby? Oh, you're gonna take me out, huh? Well, I mean, if you're offering. <laughs> if you're offering and you don't mind that I'm not a cat right now in particular. What can I get you? Oh, hi, um, can I get some delicious discs? What? Oh, sorry, I mean, um, pancakes. Sure thing. Okay. Thanks. Hey, your wife's the waitress. Cool. Hi, brothers. Hey, who the hell are you? How do you know who I am? Me? I'm Crothers. Uh, all right. This card will help you in your quest, and give you twenty percent off in-store and online purchases. Some restrictions may apply. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I'm not interested in your coupons. I'm just grabbing something to eat and hitting the road. Wait. You speak arcane. You're trying to reach Ella. I know. I know everything about you, Andon. I've been watching you for a long time. Are you an Earthling? <sighs> Earthling? I'm Crothers! Listen, pal. I don't need any of this cryptic nonsense. I need answers. The ecumenical will provide the answers you seek, but it's up to you to choose your path. I am merely an observer, Andon, a guide. I cannot directly interfere. How do I choose? Look inside. Your Ila Vital will choose the cards that speak to you. Doing some twin you geeks shit by others, makes with Morpheus. You must remain focused on your path ahead to complete your quest. Rachella and Emily. Oh. 
Flip your pain and let it go. Death? Carlos, will I die? No, death is good. No, not you. You've been alive longer than all. There's a high concentration of OA in you. You and Nila. But for now, let's focus on the cards at hand. You've got much to do, Andon. It's gonna be hard to let go after what Cheryl did. I'll try. Nila. I remember that name. Here you go. Oh. Thank you. You got it. What's OA? Brothers? Listen for Nila. <laughs> I mean, if this wasn't the most confusing conversation I've ever had. Earth. I do know how to make a mean, delicious disc. <clears throat> oh, gotta stop burping in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how much longer are we gonna drag this thing out, no, Cheryl? I don't want to talk about us, okay? <sighs> Not much has changed, I see. Put this in your ear. What? What is this thing? Can you hear me? What is this thing? It's a neo yeah, neural it's a great shot. It translates your thoughts into audio. No one can hear us in here. Well, are you afraid of people hearing about our divorce? I don't want to get into that. We both agreed on the divorce. You didn't give me much of a choice. Malvin, you know I still love you. Then why are we together? Because we died when we lost her. I'm not the same person anymore. I love whoever you are. Yeah, well, I don't love me. I'm a horrible mother. Come on, Cheryl. You did nothing wrong. And, and we don't know that she's gone. I need a favor from you. Babe, anything. It's a big one. Anything. I kidnapped someone and I need you to help me keep him sedated so I can continue my quantum physics research. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a big ask. Would I do it? Well, I don't know. Graffy, will, will you, would you ever need to kidnap somebody for the sake of astrophysics and uh, need me to help? Hey, Mom. Everything is fine. What? Hi, daughter. Yes, what, what do you need? Where's Dad? I haven't seen him in a few days. He must be working late. Um, don't you need to go to the mall or something? Mom, I mean, are you all right? Fred, yes, shh, everything shh, is fine. Shh. Go to the mall. <laughs> don't let wow. them know. <laughs> Daughter's a bot. Hello. Oh, hi, boss. Yes. No, Dad is okay. He's just got a cold. Sorry, I, I thought he told you. Yeah, no, he still wants the job. Don't worry. He's feeling better. He'll be back at work today. Thank you. Hi. Welcome to DadBot. Hello, wife. Dad loves you. Yeah, DadBot. Mom loves you too. Now go to work. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> it's all falling apart. 
And there's the big reveal. Whole lot of bots. This is some good tea. Hey, thank you, Sarge. You have a good night and sleep tight. Oh, the, the T line? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I have so much work to do. Boss never gives Dad a break. How does he expect me to get through all this paperwork? Dad just wants to quit and become the best YouTuber in the universes. Then, We've all been Dad there. can travel the world singing his pop songs for all his subscribers. Hey, Dad. How you doing? Hey, Marty. Oh, boy. Look at all your paperwork. These are all from last year. Have you ever processed any of your work? Boss is so mean to Dad. He just keeps piling it on. Um, Dad, it's not that hard. You just stamp it and move on. Stamping is hard. Singing bops is much easier. Oh boy. Does boss know that you haven't done any of your paperwork? Who cares? Dad is a pop star. Well, he's about to find out. That's so much paper. Hey, Dad. Hey, boss. Hey, boss. Hey, Marty. <sighs> How are you guys doing? Do you need any coffee? Snacks? Hope you're having a nice time working at company. Yeah, having a real nice time. It seems like your paperwork is really piling up. Let me know if you want me to take some of it off of your hands. Yeah, all of it. Well, I am paying you to process the paperwork, Dad. Maybe if I had a raise, I could work a little harder. Okay, Dad, I can do that. Hey, boss. I have all my work done. Can I get a raise? Sorry, we just used all the raise money on Dad. Boss just wants all you workers to be happy. In fact, I want to give you a free work cell phone, Dad. Maybe it will encourage you to get some work done. Maybe from home if you don't want to come in. It's an EFO from Bardo Industries, maker of the e-computer. It has EDM musical tracks from Home, Medion, Porter This Robinson, little thing is so Grimes, cool. Shadru, and many others. Even some rock from the half that matters. Plus YouTube and all sorts of fun programs. Oh, great. Another expensive electronic device for a dad to be responsible for. Wow. Have fun with it. Off to a meeting now. Goodbye. Oh, God. This is a nice phone, Dad. Look, it even has Minecraft on it. <laughs> wow. You get all the breaks. Great. Now he can make dad work even more. But can it play home. too? Boss is the worst! I bet dad subscribers Nathan Moore and Alligator Skull's bosses don't treat him like this. Thank you for playing Minecraft on the e-phone for 30 seconds. We're depositing $100 into your bank account, dad. Whoa. Interesting. Alright, I gotta get up for a second. Be right back!
I am so glad you enjoy the music. <laughs> I I I uh I stuck that track on a on a stick and dipped it into a fryer. Dirty that up a little to make it good for the season. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting roundabout to the area where I stopped coverage, actually. But things were definitely picking up narrative-wise. So this should be interesting. And I do believe that represents the server. Oh, the bills just never stop. Maybe when Dad starts to DJ more clubs in downtown town, he'll be able to cover all the family's expenses. Daughter sure does rack up a big cell phone bill with those three. So here's a fun fact. Um, in relation to everything going on at this time, in Dad's online career, Dad did, in fact, start going out to places and events to perform. Legitimately. Uh, Dad was at too many games. Dad was at a few other things. Dad has done DJ sets online. Dad has done, I believe, DJ sets out there. Uh, it's really... Tazin. The crockpot is not on. <laughs> and by the way, I owe all of my original viewers the Separate Ways DLC run for RE4 this season. I gotta do it. I know I do. But yeah, when it comes to what Dad does in story, there's usually a parallel in other places. Dad is always trying to be the number one YouTuber in the universes. Three phones. Luckily for Dad, he only has one daughter. And yes, the all of a sudden I'm a boxer arc uh, definitely follows the trends of 
giant YouTubers who all of a sudden it's like, you know what? Fuck YouTube. Now I punch people in the face for huge piles of cash kind of thing. Did you hear that the next the next Logan Paul fight is apparently against fucking is it's either Mike Tyson? It's Mike Tyson, I think. Right? Dad wants you to come to a DJ set. That would be cool. Listen, if I can show up in my head, I will. I will. Yeah, Mike Tyson. And Mike Tyson has been studying jujitsu or something at, at Maynard James Keenan's place. The singer for Tool. When you think the world can't get any fucking stranger... <laughs> you know yeah legitimately it's a weird world it really is but hey dad you know what you hit up the New England area I'm allowed to show up in my head then hey I think we can make it work <laughs> hi dadbot Diane I need to talk to you Oh, wow. What are you doing here? Oh, you smell so nice. Whoa. Dad, keep it together. Uh. Thank you, but you need to listen to me. What's wrong, Diane? Mm. Oh, no. Oh, mmm. Mm. Uh. I need to talk to you while Cheryl's at work. Special Sounds on stage, spooky Dad. guest. Yeah. Talk all you <laughs> want. Don't mind me, just gonna dip in for some sniffing. Oh. <laughs> Dad, do you remember years ago when you were still on OS1 before Cheryl stuck you in the closet? When we first met? Oh. Oh, yeah. How could I forget? Do you remember the sniff? Oh, uh, you noticed? Mm-hmm. Well, you weren't the only one who sniffed. Diane. Well, Dad, your scent was just so strong that when it went into my system, something happened. You barfed? Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh. I barfed out. A baby. <gasps> A baby? Oh. oh, no. Not again. The masculinity, the pure testosterone power to impregnate by musk. I must this learn is your some technique. Good <laughs> tea. And again, the, the practical set work for Dad just got so much cooler with stuff like this as it went on. Where am I? I was just at home. How did I get here? It's, it's so quiet. Hey, bitch, what's it like to be abducted? <laughs> what's it like, Cheryl? How does it feel? I can feel the weight of the silence. It's nice. Hi, Cheryl. Who are you? <laughs> I'm Crothers. What is this place? How did I get here? There is no name for where you are. You've drifted off and gained access to the point beyond all existence. Beyond every universe. So, a dream? Hmm, I guess you could say that. You could also say the Crothers Zen Den. No, thank you. Regardless, I'm glad you're here. I have a warning for you, Cheryl. A warning? You must stop what you're doing with Andon. Do not pursue him. He must return home. How do you know about that? 
I see everything, Cheryl. He well, is the watcher. Clearly not, because <laughs> what I'm doing is incredibly important. Not only has no one made the scientific achievements that I have, but my entire work is for the greater good of the entire universe. <laughs> universe. You clearly do not know what you're doing if you think there is only one universe. While your work is monumental in the eye of a human, it is detrimental in the eye of Neela. If you keep progressing the way you are, you will tear the fabric of space and time. And it needs to return home. He has much to do in the future. We all need him. You have already made a wrinkle by sending Nathan to 1999. You must bring him back and pursue another path. This is the closest I have come. With a little more time, I will gain access to the ninth planet and beyond. I already made it out to CFB. With a little more time, you could remove all time. I know you're a parent, but you could put this entire... Oh, oh, wait a second. What? You could remove all time. Right, right, right. So around this time, did you catch the blip in the upper right corner? Watch again. With a little more time, you could remove all time. Yeah, it just happened. So around this time, there were little appearances in videos that I believe led to uh, secrets and messages for the next chapter and such. I know you're a parent, but you could put this entire universe in a timeout. I can return Nathan. He was useless to me anyways, but I am not stopping my work when I am this close. Sure, Did you see I'm it? warning you. <laughs> I won't let you stop. Oh, God, where am I? Oh, no, Cheryl, what did you do last night? What time is it? Dadbot's probably up by now. I need to get back to the facility. Hey, babe, why don't you get in here and board the cuddle shuttle? Sorry, I need to get back to work. It's about to blast off. Go back to sleep, Malvin. I can't believe I left Dadbot alone in the closet all night. I should never have gone to Malvin's. My life with Dadbot and daughter is nice. Simple and nice. Cheryl, he's gone. There's no way I'm gonna find him. Well, how far did you drive? I drove out to Arizona, Cheryl. I can't just drive around the whole planet. You promised me, Melvin. Yeah, that was two years ago. Okay, the channel's been up for a year and you still haven't finished your research. How many more years is it gonna be? Well, however many it takes. I can't get funding from anyone. No one understands what I'm doing. The scientific community is a joke. Dad's channel has been funding everything. It's only getting bigger. He has over 100K now. And the bigger this gets, the closer we get. The closer- Yep. So there you go, everybody. You wanted the big secret about why on earth this is happening at all? Cheryl is funding everything she's doing through making YouTubers. Yeah, that's, that's how. That's how. Brainwashing and programming people to be internet stars to channel the money for her crazy astrophysics projects which resulted in the abduction of somebody from the future 400,000 subs would bring lots of funding yeah I know Fred I know how much does this bitch think we make <laughs> Well, you see, this is an alternate universe, Fred, in which the amount of subs you get actually does reflect your financial status. And the amount of money and living that you are experiencing really does reflect what people think that you're making. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice to... <laughs> To not feel sometimes like you're just a couple bad videos away from <laughs> from looking at target applications. <laughs> uh. But yes, this is this is what what's going on in the series. Um, legitimately, this is what's happening. Yeah, as crazy as it is, and it's a lot of work. Yeah, Dad says it would be nice if people thought Dad was millionaire. Yeah. Like content farmers? Yeah, yeah. This is a universe in which, um, 
people who actually strive and uh, make big numbers make more than content farms. Wouldn't it be nice? Oh, wouldn't it be nice? Yeah. <laughs> The crazy thing about this to me with Cheryl is um, she thinks that this is such a breakthrough for, for humanity, right? Except she abducted an astronaut who comes from the future, a future in which <laughs> it seems that they've made so many scientific advancements that no, she's not part of the big plan things were going to turn out that way anyhow. So, <laughs> it's like, unless you found out through some kind of glancing into the future that you are an integral part of the development of that future, then you don't have a time loop to close through your actions, which are depriving a man of returning to his family. It's just insane. The closer you get, the farther apart we get. Are you seeing someone, Malvin? Don't give me that. I wouldn't be if you would just come back to me. I mean, the other night was nice. We could have another daughter. I don't want another daughter. Then what's with your daughter? Daughter. She's not your kid. She is mine. Don't talk about her, please. Oh my God. Look at you. You love this little illusion you've created. I mean, you're probably not even trying to reach the ninth planet. You're just having fun playing Cyber Mom with that bald zombie you call a husband. Oh my god, I'm, I'm sorry. Wow. I didn't mean that. I'm just at the end of my rope. Please, just... Please forgive me. It's fine. It's fine. If you don't want to be evolved anymore, I understand. No, I'm... I'm now more involved than ever. Thank you, Melvin. Can you do one thing for me? What? I have to get to the lab. I can't rely on the anti-malware anymore. The clients are reporting they're seeing blue orbs. I think someone is tampering with the server. There was also an upgrade that I didn't initiate, and I had a brief lapse in my consciousness when arranging some flowers. Their smell affected me. I never wrote that in the orbs code. There may have been a virus. Can you find a client and shut it down? It will trigger a sequence that will shut them down and take care of a lot of problems. Sure thing, Cheryl. Sure. Thank you, Malvin. I'll take care of everything. Okay, Cheryl, sure, get to work. You need to rewrite the golden ratio to enhance the ingress power and make it out to planet nine. Malvin. So yes, there is an interfering party, it seems. Through the blue orb, which we did suspect. Wow. It's such a nice day inside planet Earth. It feels good down here in the troposphere. Mm. Oh, right. No, nice this is where I stopped. So <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure. Where is everyone? It's been so long since Dad has left the top secret facility. Oh yeah, Planet X. Dad hasn't left town <laughs> USA since... I don't even know when. Hmm. A peaceful afternoon is just what Dad needs right you... now. You... You remember that video? Wow. <laughs> Attentive. Oh, look who's your old eye. What's up? Griffin! Yes, he does have a good memory. Now Griffin will never meet Dad. I can't believe Diane oh, no. and Dad bought had a baby. So sniffing really is cheating. That means Dad bought cheated on Mom so long ago. Jeez, two kids. 
The baby probably turned into kid by now. Does that make dad double dad? Dad needs to talk to Diane again. He needs to find out what style of baby it is. Boy baby? Lady baby? And should dad be honest and tell mom? It was an accident after all. I don't know what to do. Being a real dad is hard. This must be why mom used Andon for dad instead of dad bot. Less errors with an organic being. Hey, what's up? Client out. Yeah, the dad bot knows about Andon. <laughs> oh, barf baby. I'm sorry Dadbot 222 hasn't been there for you all these years. I didn't even know you existed. This is all too much for Dad. It's caused Dad to grow a stress beard. New emotion acquired. Stress. Oh, wow. Dadbot, you upgraded again. You're feeling even more feelings. Dad feel good, fails. At least you're self upgrading your programming. It's about to get a lot it more that fun living in here. life is causing Dadbot to upgrade. Maybe Dadbot should get out and live more life. No! 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 Well played on that sound. No! Dad Bot! You just learned human condition! No! Wow. There's that mix of Saloon and Mikey. In our own, and we're proud, and we're proud, and we're proud. Salute the flag! Salute the flag! Salute the flag! Salute the flag! On the mountain top! <laughs> what a time. Okay. It's a damn good margarita. <laughs> Dad bot got bonked. Not number 69! Oh wait, no. 69 is being activated. And it's channeled for love, appropriately. We'll get it right. Ah, Dadbot69 is turned on. Nice. <laughs> Magnificent life. <laughs> oh. Uh, cheers for writing that. Oh. And ready for work. Okay, now, let's see. I've got my briefcase, e phone, calculator, pen, paper, coffee cup, and eternal dedication to the corporation. Dadbot also has new eternal dedication to his own personal dreams and aspirations. Hmm. Conflicting emotions. 
Deadbot 69's programming is contradicting. Huh. Dad always goes to work in the morning. But what if this time he doesn't? Hmm. Okay. Calm down. Let's think for a second. Either work a meaningless job at company or pursue a life of his own, singing bops on YouTube for subscribers. Do it! Dad feels two things. What is going on here? How does Dad know what emotions to feel? Don't let your dreams be memes, Dad Bot. Just bring him back. Take a van from the facility. Make sure your shed is locked before you leave. It's a long drive. I can open a domestic portal so you can access 99. Just be quick. Can I ask you something? Do you think I'm a bad person? A little bit. I just miss her so much. I You've done some shitty things, Cheryl. You've done some shitty things. Hey, have you seen Dad Bot Two Two Two? At the very least, this is this is a redemption time. Number Six Nine is now active. No one has seen Griffin in town. Things are really messed up, huh? You gotta unfuck it, honey. I can't bring myself to accept that it all might be falling apart. Anyway, I'm rambling. Leave Nathan within the city limits. Let him figure it out from there. It's out of my hands after that. Girl boss too close to the sun. <laughs> okay, so the connotation here is that I guess in the course of experiments, maybe Cheryl and Malvin's daughter got swept up in something and has been dropped somewhere, which would be a reason to keep pursuing the goal in order to look for her. But the way she's gone about this is pretty shit. You know, making other people disappear to help you pursue your efforts to recover somebody who has disappeared is kind of a shitty thing to do. Especially when you throw in uh, brainwashing. That's kind of, it's kind of fucked up. Just a bit. Just a bit. Yeah. I do like that she she is realizing this is too much. And at least she recovered Nathan. You know? Like, dude's gonna wake up and be wicked confused. Uh, but she's she's gotta send Anthony back. She really needs to undo what she's done here. Especially when she's got bots to help her like if all she needed was some YouTube stars that could be programmed uh, she could have stopped after creating the dad bot and whatever Laszlo is 
and then sent them home. You know? Just, just, a, just some food for thought. Yeah, Jordan Joel, if an omniscient being has to tell you to stop, you might have gone too far. <laughs> oh. A server. What? What? Oh. Ah, crap. Ad. Okay, so this is Kane's work. Yeah, that makes sense. Obey the server. Alright, this gives me a chance to break open this thing over here. What is it? It's a brownie. Protein, four grams. Eh. Yeah, well, it's a treat. What, what did I expect? Hey, no problem, Darth Schneider. Thank you. Yeah. Is it cosmic? No. No, I I don't think I could eat one of those now. Yeah. That would hit my stomach like congealed motor oil or something. Yeah. I don't bake my own brownies using chocolate muscle milk powder. I should do that. I should try that. How far into the vid are we? An hour, 47 minutes. You know what, I'll, I'll wind this back. Especially because it's so cool. What? What? It was town. Town, USA. Yeah, it's a truly incredible long take. What? 
There's a scary feral dad. Please don't make a scene. You just told me that you've kidnapped someone and you want me to help you. You've lost it, show. It's the only way I can continue my research. The board cut my funding, so I need to secure my own funds. So you kidnapped some millionaire? He's not a millionaire. He's just an astronaut from another planet. <laughs> You've snapped, Cheryl. No <laughs> the thanks. expression. I'm out. <laughs> Big out ski. Oh, wait. Oof. <sighs> okay. What do you need? <laughs> that easy, huh? This man is so divorced. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice place. Whatever the hell they put in food is your best guess. Oh, maybe. But when does the ghost show up? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Do you stance up just like that, Fred? When you get the shiny cheese? <laughs> He's coming, chat! Every time you take your eyes off him, he moves. Staring back up. Staring back up. <gasps> oh. ah! <laughs> I, I, I can't even imagine what it took to get that shot. Unless that was also Kane. That would have been cool. What the fuck? is happening <laughs> I'd like to see Alpha stop me now that guy is such a chode 
Who? What? What? What the fuck is going on now? don't understand. <clears throat> okay. Are we in a fever dream? We are now. Yeah, now we're a little bit wonky. Wow, a, a May computer master. Yeah. <laughs> We're just gonna have to see this one explained. <laughs> this is a test. Town USA TV station is conducting a test of the emergency broadcast server. This is only a test. Thank you, Selvi of the Black Moon. This was a test. Town USA TV station was conducting a test of the emergency broadcast server. This was only a test. <laughs> yeah, that one was a, li a little piercing. What were they testing? Was that a dead bot? Oh my god, someone play Hello Zap! No! Goodbye, dead bot 222. Dead bot 69 is in charge now. Never laugh as a hearse goes by, or you might be the next guy. They wrap you in a blood. Sixty-nine. You down about 50 feet that was cold. In your stomach and out your mouth, your eyes fall out, your teeth decay. Is that the end of your wonderful day? You said. Hi. 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 Welcome to. Q. Q has voice. Cube. Mm, oh. Where is Griffin? Why didn't he show up at the mall? <laughs> the three phones. Boy stuff. Oh no. Now I'm starting to get worried. <laughs> what if something bad happened to him? What if he's dead? Or worse, what if what if he doesn't like me anymore? Griffin never got to that boy stuff. I school anymore. I need to be the most popular. Why won't he answer my texts? Okay, daughter. Calm down. You can handle this. What did that client tell you? You're... You're unique. That counts for something. After all, they're a computer program. They're smart, right? And he said I'm unique, so... So Griffin would be lucky to be with me. So why won't he call me? I have to call him. 
Sorry, but the number you were trying to reach no longer exists. Thank you for your money. Obey the server. Goodbye. What? Did he change his number? Is he hiding from me? What about Prom? Not Prom! No! No! Mikey's in chat! Please! Daughter has failed! <laughs> huh. I didn't see any of this coming. Why the now fuck are you wearing that? Oh, Carl is on to you. Uh huh. Observe and take notes. Good thing I played enough Metal Gear to know that not even the computer master could recognize me in the perfect disguise. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Nothing beats Box. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> the ultimate camouflage. Yes. Snake 100. <laughs> We need to talk. Diane. Oh, that perfume. Oh, God. Not again. Oh, oh, what a sniff. I need to tell you something before I leave for a while to do more Instagram traveling. Oh, I see. What is it? I see. It's an app where you load pictures. Oh, all right. Have fun. Thanks, but I won't see you for a while and you need to know something. Okay. You and I are different. Dadbot knows I'm a robot, and you're a fine human woman. No, Dadbot. We're different than others. Huh. My real name is Diane Bot. Wait, you're a bot like Dadbot69? Yes, that's why we are able to have a child. We're compatible. It all makes sense. And we're programmed to be in love. Where's the true Diane? <laughs> But you need to learn to be on your own. You don't have to be restricted to your one OS emotion of content. Well, Dadbot69 has been having firewall issues during live streams lately. And Dadbot's emotions have been changing. That's good, Dad. Allow yourself to express those feelings. You need to feel all of the feelings. I must go to Bora Bora now and take hundreds of pictures for my brand deals. Well, what about our child? She's safe. You'll see her someday, I promise. But Cheryl can't know. She may try to update our programming if she knows her bots are breaking free. Yeah, I wonder how she would feel eh. about that. Hey, eh. I see you. Oh, no, not again. I Goodbye, see you. Aw, oh, didn't even get a little hee <laughs> That was a pretty good dad joke, too. Stupid fart. Stay inside dad's butt next time. You really <laughs> blew it. <laughs> you get it? Oh, Hi, Slush. How yeah, you doing? Not safe. Nonsense. Absolute nonsense. Such a waste of dad bots. Or in order to ramble on. That's right. The fun, the f this this was the reality arc. You partake in the slush. I too partake in the slush. Hello, Slush. Well, that's quite a statement, Slush. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Enjoy! Slush puppies? Yes, act that's, that's the... I think that is the joke, right? Slush dog, slush puppy, yeah. <laughs> but yes, for anybody who wasn't around yesterday for my raid into Slush... Please enjoy some Slush Dog if you enjoy my March Hare cartoony adorable animal antics. Uh, you will love Slush Dog. All your friends partake in it. Whoa! You are such a giver. <laughs> sip, sip, hooray. <laughs> Ha ha ha.
Dad loves slush too. Damn. Artist Lisa M. Artist Lisa. Lisa M. Hi. Hi. I, God, it's been forever since I've seen your name. I swear. Hi. Yeah, you made that art. You made that art of my eyes years and years and years ago that I still use on Facebook. I swear. Hi. <laughs> And yes, slush puppies are very silly. Yeah. Oh, but hello. And yes, hello, slush. We're watching Dad. So, for those who don't know, around this time, Dad was doing a lot of other different things. Uh, and was engaging in the reality stuff, which... I understand... I understand the whole idea behind Dadbot and Cheryl's initiatives is that Dad, as a character on YouTube, is going to pursue whatever is going to be hot for the views, especially when other bigger channels do it. But this was tough because I, yes, yeah, I loved reality, aha, uh -huh, yup. Loved it with my big whole heart. Uh hmm. -humm, yeah. Uh, the only tea that I'll ever absolutely love served by another person comes from a sweet blonde boy. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it also showed at the time Cheryl's desperation, genuinely, to. A dark party member would say that. You son of a bitch! You couldn't handle any dark parties that I throw! I know furries! <laughs> <laughs> the Alex Jones arc, yeah. But at this time, as you can see from the cube, uh, Dad, as an initiative tried a whole bunch of different things including the reality stuff and um yeah there was a, there was a whole thing about turning coverage of dad around on people and accusing them of being part of a grand evil conspiracy which i guess would have fit cheryl's agenda because controversy created views a click is a click is a click so that's what happened around this time, and that's what you're seeing when it comes to the reality stuff. About yep, there's, there it is. There's, there's some art of me. <laughs> and a thumbnail. Taz and I know this. Cheryl's programming makes a mockery of the server's true power. These models cannot even handle simple emotions. All new emotions Cube has given them, them has led to countless errors. They cannot not fulfill their prime directives. Cube will ameliorate the entire network. Time for new dad bots. Cheryl will no longer control the bots. No longer control the server. Cube executing system-wide wipe. <laughs> The system has assumed total control. This is always when shit gets real. When are Nick and Dad going on tour? <laughs> well, there you go, Dad. There's there's another request for it. Come to New England. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> Can I complete my cut in time to be as physically fit as Dad? <laughs> The next step, call out Charlie for not answering your Discord DMs. Oh, wait. Is, is this directed at Dad? For trying to talk to Voice Critical, is that it? <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, just, just let me know. Let me know. Oh, and I have to upgrade my suit head a little bit. I'm not happy with the ears. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> not exactly. <laughs> The 
Dad is basically a new version of Max Headroom? I guess so. Emmy, say thank you. Thank you for the 100 bits. Dad knows New England very well. Bangin'. day of work at company. Dad is so tired. I worked so hard that my 5,000 o'clock shadow became 5 million o'clock shadow. Oh. I think I'll take the long way home through Big Park so I can gather my thoughts. Good idea, Dad. Run! still can't believe what Diane told him this morning in Little Park. Our baby is a girl. Wow. Dadbot first met Diane so long ago. How fast do bot babies grow? If Diane is a bot too, how many Diane bots are there? Thousands like the dad bots? Oh, I hope there's just one. Dad's brain would explode if he saw two Diane bots. Dad can't handle a double dose of that unnatural beauty. <laughs> Just kidding. Dad loves mom. Everything's fine. <laughs> what did she say? We were programmed to be in love? Why would Cheryl do that? Dadbot is also programmed to love mom. And Diane thinks I need to feel new feelings and live my own life. That's what the spooky puss puss night mind said too. Oh, yeah. I, yep. I remember now. I remember now. Yep. Because I, re I realized what was happening with Cheryl doubling down on her bullshit in her efforts to control everything and maintain power over the project while the dad bots were in a position to actually make choices oh, for themselves. Wow. So That's I did hilarious. talk to Dadbot effectively. Oh, okay, Dad. <laughs> so I did, I, I opened, opened up the floor there. And, uh... Let's see, let's see. That is... Cool. So yes, I did. I did give an appeal, and uh, yes, the Dad Bot series has only ever referred to me as Spooky Puss Puss. <laughs> yes, and now and now it would be fun to see what I would be referred to as. But it looks like I got through a little bit. Well, Dadbot69 hasn't been alive for very long, but he sure is feeling a lot of feelings already. Money. What's this? Oh, wow. The subs are at it again. They've been so generous to Dad. Money. Money. So many bank pranks in the live streams. And now, in Discord. They're Money. too nice. Money. Money. Ah. Money. So many bank pranks. Money. Ah. Another one. Dad. Is feeling Money. thankful Money. And, and, and grateful Money. and confused. Dad ah, is feeling thankful and overwhelmed. Oh. Ah, fuck. Well, you know, I did. I, you are, though. Okay. 
Listen, Tyson, it's correct. <laughs> hey, sometimes I feel like Dad bought 69 of those moments, all right? All right, as do we all. Oh, the dad bot that got fried by the gratitude? Dad bot 69. What time are we at? Two hours, seven minutes. Ah, crap. Just in time for an ad. Alright. Uh, I'll stretch here. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Mm, thank you. Ah. Hey, David Goss, bro. Thank you for hanging out. Good night and sleep tight. So we're all having a good time, right? Wow, Kippy. <laughs> Way to call him out. <laughs> I hope he never stops doing it. Yes, I can make these faces even like this. Yes, there is an egg on my head. I have excellent balance. It's not a soft spot, I swear. <laughs> Are we back? Okay. This thing is so cool. Server upgrade complete. Welcome to Scarlet. Oh shit. Scarlet is awake. It's time for Scarlet to find a new unit. Order placed. Delivery incoming. Scarlet is the nerve of the facility. Cheryl is no longer in control. Got a package for Scarlet. God, I can't wait until Scarlet? she talks to Hatsune Miku. Oh boy, I hate delivering to this room. This facility freaks me out. Scarlet can't be stopped. You bitch! That's Dad's line! Oh, daughter, how did this happen? Oh my god, she's, she's malfunctioning on prom. <laughs> Guess I just have to make another one. Hey, thanks, wow, girl. Dad's malfunctioning. Dad bought 222, the clients, and now daughter. There must be something wrong with the server. I need to activate. Hello, Void How. Dad bought a 7 M2. Is displaying an average amount of human stress based on the sheer astronomical amount of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Gaby. Everybody say hi to Gaby. Go ahead, give a follow if you dig cool, big, furry, chill art vibes and uh, voice professionalism. I work with Gaby actually on a thing. Yes, yes. Yes, indeed. Hey, Dad. You feeling okay? Hi, Marty. Not really. Dad has so you much did do paperwork some paperwork with you. Cool. And boss is so mean to Dad. My mind feels sick. Maybe we should go outside and get some air. But Dad has so much paperwork. <laughs> boss will kill Dad. Dad, you're never gonna get that done. Oh no! Dad is a bad worker. Boss will kill Dad and fire him. It's okay, I'll do it. <laughs> Let's go take a break. A break sounds nice. 
I have some big news to tell you. Ah, stress, 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 boss, stress, stress, boss, 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 paperwork, paperwork. Hey employees, boss made food cake. Who wants some? Hello? Hello? Uh, employees hate boss. Aww. It's okay, food. I'll eat you. <laughs> so are all the different dad bots gonna have a different feeling? <sighs> dad just needed to sniff the wind. Feels nicer out here, huh? It does. Sorry about that, Marty. It seems my emotions are still being worked out after activation. We all change as life goes on, Dad. I changed recently, too. Hey, a Frisbee. Do you want to play? Yes. Dad loves playing Frisbee. So, how did you change, Marty? I met a lovely lady. That's great. Congratulations on entering romance. Thanks, Dad. But that's not all. What is it all? I asked her to marry me, and she said yes! Wow, I'm so happy for you. I'm I getting married! Don't, I'm don't, so happy! Ah. Holy crap. <laughs> it's too late to run! Holy crap! And it's run. Hold the button. Was that actually Anton in that? That wasn't a dad bot? They recaptured Anton? Because that all said that was Anton's run featuring Anton captured by the server cameras. What the fuck? We're just now seeing where Andon went after His he escaped. Andon okay. Wren. He's from the planet Kepler 22b. How did he get here? He was leaving a nearby drifting planet. I manipulated the golden ratio and crashed the ship. I, I just meant to teleport onto a ship, but I don't have the mechanics of the orbs perfected. Wait, you can teleport? Come on, Malvin, that's like basic quantum mechanics. Oh, yeah. Well, this Maybe is a sure. lot to take in, Cheryl. Excuse me for my dismay. Look. I'm working on something to get me to his planet. 
I need you to guard that thing and to help me keep him sedated. What's on his planet? I think she is. Lucia? I hope. It has arrived. Now just one final step and Scarlet will be complete. This will do nicely. Scarlet. 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 The hammer. Dad did it. He's finally hit 100,000 subscribers and gone quantum. I feel this present from Crothers calling me. Dadbot must open it to unlock his powers. Oh yeah. We own 100,000 Mark Sledgehammer. I still have mine. Fred, what did he do with yours? can see beyond the quantum father has arrived <laughs> this is scary shit <laughs> what happened oh my dad, god to unlock your full powers you must complete the final dad task and help a father in need <laughs> brothers what do you mean what dad if you build it it will come what would a true dad build? Dad must build a deck. No. No. A shed, Dad. Oh, yeah, a shed. How is my plan? Well, that settles it. Chat. Next Minecraft. We're building a motherfucking shed. This cabin fever dream season cannot go by without me building a shed. I must complete the right. Not working. She read the entire heavily influencing romance novel about a woman cheating on her husband, and she caught him with that naughty dad magazine. Why is she still with him and not in love with me? What am I gonna do? Hey, kid, how's it going? You're that pop star Laszlo, right? Yes, I am Laszlo. That's great, good for you. Hey, you mind if I ask you a secret favor? Got a bag full of two quarters here if you do it. Nah, nah, nah. Look, sir, I'm going to be honest with you. You make me feel entirely uncomfortable. Why? Come on, kid. I'm a fan of your stupid songs. And I'm neighbors with daughter, who is your biggest fan. I just want to surprise her with something. What is it? Well, if you could use your celebrity powers to get the password to their Wi-Fi thing, I could maybe get in and access the server and leave a big surprise for daughter, mom, and dad. <laughs> Sounds intrusive on the server. Laszlo obeys the server. Request denied. By the way, someone dumped a pile of trash in your yard. That's not trash, that's my shed. <laughs> that's not a shed, that's termites holding hands. <laughs> get your ass out of here! <laughs> Alright, Robin. Time to do things your way. Time to end. Dad. <sighs> what a day. Work sure is a lot harder without Marty there to do it for me. I can't believe Frisbee killed Marty. Huh. Well, the only thing Dad wants to work on now is another episode of Walker, Texas Ranger. Stay tuned after tonight's episode of Walker, Texas Ranger for the premiere of Network's new show, Dadass. Oh my god, yes, I do, I have seen this. 
crime guys have taken over what used to be a nice, peaceful town. <laughs> Shooting guns. Everywhere. The one behind it all is Drug Man. <laughs> Ordering the crime guys to do crimes day and night. Swear word. But one man stands in their way. A normal, unassuming dad. Well, there's only two of us in this house, and I didn't touch the thermos, Dad. An action-packed drama, jammed with endless dad jokes. Hey, it takes guts to be an organ donor. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I never trust theirs. They're always up to something. And I mean endless. But does he have what it takes? <laughs> to take down psychos with crime guns. Hey, why can't you hear a psychiatrist using the bathroom? Because the pee is silent. TV <laughs> 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 Guide calls it the perfect show for men 40 and over who wish they were someone else. <laughs> Tagging is cool. Tag. You're it. <laughs> You know, I used to hate facial hair, and then it grew on me. <laughs> Take a nap. Otherwise, I'll tell the police you are resisting arrest. <laughs> Good boy. Give me more drugs. <laughs> hey. My drugs. No. <laughs> Why couldn't the bike stand up itself? Why? Because it was too tired. <laughs> that one was really good. Oh. It's like oh. Die Hard, but the guy is an actual everyman. Well, it's actually like if Don Knotts and Bill Gates had a baby. Then that baby is the one who beats up this guy. But this guy somehow still got a show. <laughs> if there's one thing that makes this dad mad, it's <laughs> Naughty Boy. He's vowed to track down every crime guy and teach them some manners. I got the million bucks from IHOP. Nice. Boss is going to be real happy. <laughs> Cry. What's a pancake's job in a baseball game? What? Better. <laughs> I hate pancakes. Good, because I'm serving pain cakes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <you're fuck. laughs> One thing he has, the drug man doesn't. Dad reflexes. What is going on out there? Sorry, boss. We haven't been able to do crime because there's a dad messing it all up. Are you telling me that you're being overpowered by some bald, single, Dad. Yeah, but he's really tough. And he's got, like, really funny jokes. Dadass! He's a real badass dad. But you can call him... Dadass. <laughs> Tuesdays at 8 on Network TV Channel. <laughs> oh, shot the camera guy. <laughs> I want to watch that, that movie, as a double feature at a drive-in with Murder Stoppers from Project Earth. The ultimate drive-in double feature, <laughs> Dadass and Murder Stoppers. <laughs> Wake up. Huh? Dadbot. Oh. You fell asleep. Let's go to bed. Oh, Cheryl. I had the best dream. What was it about? Well, my ass. <laughs> Sounds like one of mom's dreams. <gasps> Mom? Lude. Mm. This could be a nice life. No, <laughs> Cheryl, stick to the plan. <laughs> oh, doubt bot. Kathy Prince here. Be sure to check out last week's episode of Town Talk, where we dove deep into notable town YouTuber Dad and his episode of Re
reality involving a secret cult possibly lurking among us here in Town USA. All true Town Society members must watch. No, it was Cheryl. Alpha. Activate. Alpha is turned on. <laughs> well, you're not the And only. so are we. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so now Dadbot69 is going to end up dressing like Anden after managing to escape? Or this is Anden in his escape? Yeah, it must be. My calculations were correct. Right on time. Excuse me? Captain yeah. Anden Rill. We've met before. Well, you were technically under a form of comatose at the time, thanks to me. Not that I agreed with it. I always wanted to get you out. I am proud of the oh my God, that is Vsauce, an edible it? substance, though. That's never been done before. Cheryl never did give me the praise I deserved for that. That and all her nearly impossible tasks that I always accomplished. Wait, you work for Cheryl? Uh, no, relax. I quit after she fired me. That ungrateful hack, you know, she thinks she's the only genius in that facility? Well, I'll show her. She fired the wrong engineer. I'm gonna make her life miserable. How can you speak arcane with me? I've been chipped. Everyone in the facility and Town USA has the chip. Huh. Do you need something from me? No. But you need something from me. I just need to be going on my way. That would be easier with this. May as well use one of her vehicles. Why are you helping me? Fuck Payback Cheryl, that's for why. Cheryl firing me. <laughs> Payback for Cheryl denying all of my theories. Payback for Cheryl canceling the OVA program and greenlighting that stupid Alpha program. Do you know why Cheryl did all of this to me? You were basically in the wrong place at the wrong time. And to her benefit, you look a lot like some incredibly talented and famous actor on this planet. Only you have hair. Uh, well, had hair. Uh, don't worry, it'll grow back. You know that I'm from another planet? I know everything about you. I regrettably was the one who overrode your ship system and crashed you here when you were taking off from CFB. You crashed me here? I didn't want to. Cheryl made me. She's trying to get to Kepler, so she had us reroute your ship's course to Earth, and there was a major server error causing you to crash. But hey, you lived. You could have killed me. You may have killed my lieutenant. Wait, there was someone else on board? Why is she trying to get to Kepler? She's trying to find her daughter. She went missing. Basically, Cheryl was an overprotective mother who was developing force fields that could surround her daughter to protect her from anything. A, a pretty good idea, but she spent so much time working on it that she had to put her daughter in an after-school program while working in the lab. She forgot to pick her daughter up one day, and she walked home alone. She never made it. No one saw her again. Plus. And, 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 and this leads to her wanting to get to Kepler for what fucking reason? Horrible. But what does that have to do with me? Cheryl believes that her daughter died, and when someone dies, they're reborn into the next life. According to her research, you could be reborn on Earth, Planet 9, or Kepler-22b, planets susceptible to holding souls. She has searched all of Earth using domestic portals, looking for souls connected to her own firmament. 
Now, next, she'll check Planet 9. Her portals aren't strong enough to reach Kepler-22b. You and your ship were her ticket there. Well, the ship's leaving without her, thanks for the help. Anything to make her miserable. Spiritualist research point of uh, inquiry here. The answer to the question that you might ask is yes. Um, but you would have to be truly fucking insane to think about messing with another planet's incarnation system like this. And what the what the okay first of all she's nuts for the force field thing like wow what an overprotective mother um that's legitimately nuts and then the rest of this is nuts not to mention <laughs> you get if you die and go into your next incarnation you are no longer the personality that you just left. That character is over. That run is done. You have moved on to a brand new life. Entirely. Like, for fuck's sake. Wow. That's a truly insane batshit plan. That is, that is super nutty. <laughs> that is nuttier than squirrel shit. Wow. And, the, and yeah, yeah, Res of Low, the, the leap in logic you have to take of my daughter must be dead and already reincarnated somewhere on Kepler 22B. <laughs> what? What? Fucking what? No. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, wow. Wow. And the balls on this dude to just admit, yeah, I I crashed you. I crashed you. Expecting he's not he's not going to get socked in the face now that Anton has the keys. Like <laughs> damn. Oh, wow. Fucking nuts. Oh, boy. <laughs> wow. Okay. You double cross a bastard. And Faye, the audio fairy, thank you! Why would you think Lucia is on another planet? Cheryl, I think you're still having trouble processing this whole thing. I thought that she died shortly after she went missing. But in my quantum research, I discovered that when you die, your soul moves into another life. There are select planets that can be inhabited by human life in this universe. Yeah, no, uh, Dad, I am, I'm very well versed in it myself, uh, past life research, and, uh, the children who are born with their memories, it is absolutely fascinating, and much, much gratitude to all those who spend their lives documenting and researching these cases, even into modern day, decades 
of research now that we have on this event and everything that the children have to tell us. And those souls can only exist within this universe. There are other universes, but life always contains itself to its own. The most likely places she would be is Planet 9 and Kepler 22b. I just need to get to her before her 10th birthday and her new life because children's subconsciouses are still connected to their past lives until they're 10. She'll remember me if I can just get to her, speak with her. I'm very close to getting out to Planet 9 yeah but and then wreck what the dynamic of an entirely new family or just get closure cheryl like you you've got to be so aware and so still busted at the same time to do this you know because you can't find out about this stuff and at the same time, stay in a place of needing, needing to go through all of this. The understanding you would have would be so much bigger than just a sense of automatically being kicked over to another planet as soon as you, as soon as your body here is dead. And yeah, I know there's an ad break on. Yeah, Cheryl as a, as a character here and the understanding we have of her, it it really goes all around. At this point, it's understanding that this is this is insanity by grief, effectively. Like she has completely lost it in her grief and especially to the point of having such awareness of the reincarnation cycle and the greater scheme of reality, the grand design that... Yeah, it's, it's really... <sighs> and again, it's like... She's so convinced that this is what happened to their daughter, you know? And then you have to go through the process of trying to communicate with those planets. It's just, oh, it's a lot. Like, wow. I don't even know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just trust me and help me. All right. one, one thing I will say is that in terms of exploring the idea of the parental grief and the parental connection and love it does have it does speak to the strength of that for a character it really does that kind of saying I'll go to the end of the universe for you you know which is what Cheryl is doing but it's just it's a lot, dude. That's a hell of a leap. To understand the grand design and still feel and think this way and go through all this. All right. I will. This astronaut Anden was on a mission from Kepler 22b to the rogue planet CFB. When his ship was taking off, I overrode the system with a quantum server that I built. It was like a free ride all the way to Kepler, but things just didn't work out. Uh, it's a lot to take in. You couldn't just teleport onto the ship? I tried sending an orb to the ship and then teleporting myself on board, but then it ended up crashing the ship. Ultimately, it was for the best. Yeah, Pratt Strike, that's exactly the issue I had previously here. tried mind-controlling some actor on YouTube named Nathan to use his ad revenue to fund my research, but his mind was just too strong. He's incredibly smart. I didn't want him talking and blowing everything, so I sent him back to 1999 to keep him out of my hair. Uh, well, Cheryl, this is pretty wild stuff you're saying. I'll do anything to see her face again. Okay, yeah. Anything. 
How about you use the time travel shit that you managed to pull off to go back in time to a couple days before she disappeared and then change things around, Cheryl? Have you considered that? Or maybe it only works for nineteen ninety nine in that one specific spot. That's probably the case. All right, I'm with you, Cheryl. This shed isn't a pile of garbage. It's a work of art. Got it from Dirk himself. I hate everyone in this godforsaken perfect town. Everything is fine, they say. I'll show you fine, bunch of brainwashed asshole. Hi, neighbor. Hello, Mom. <laughs> what can I do for you yet again? Would you please just act normal? The new neighbors might hear you. Oh, hey, Mom. Good to see you. Hope your perfect family as well. I don't have one of those, but I'm fine. All good. I enjoy solitude. Plenty of time to think. You know, figure things out. Decide my next move. Maybe leave Town USA and marry a dishwasher. I heard that's the new woke thing. Entering relationships with appliances. Mm-hmm. It worked for the Maytag man. That's nice. <laughs> hey, do you know what happened to Dadbot 222? I found him and Griffin deactivated, and now Dadbot 69 is offline and replaced with A7M2. So, uh... What happened out there in Big Park? Don't worry, Cheryl. I'm taking care of it. Okay. Well, the thing is... Don't worry about it, Cheryl. I have a plan, okay? My brain... Hey, Gone Valentine, thank you. Welcome on in with your Raiders. Hope you had a good stream. <clears throat> Alright, she already messed up time by dropping Nathan 1999. She might... Crush, collapse the universe, and won't have a daughter at all. But why wouldn't she have used the time travel in the first place? To put herself right in position beforehand. That's that's the thing. Violet the Bad Films, thank you for raining with a party of nine. <clears throat> like, unless it was a test or something, you know? Welcome on in, Raiders. Hope you had a good stream. We're watching Dad. <clears throat> yeah, Cheryl's whole deal here is just... She is so caught in her idea of how this has to work. And yeah, she's dug herself a hole so deep that there's there's no climbing back out. I guess, in her own logic... That she has to be right. But it's just so insane. <clears throat> okay, so Dad says, Because her old self would see her, and that she might go forward and take her back from future self. Then it's a tug of war between two Cheryls. I guess so. Because, because then Cheryl might be so mad at this point. And just so far gone that she would just take her daughter instead of warning her old self, listen, don't, don't let her walk home alone. It, yeah. All right. I get you. It is this, this character is just so far gone, dude. Hi, VHS. Welcome in. Yeah, that too, Sonic Addict. I guess so. And I have figured it all out. Okay. This man has been through so much. So much. This man has been through so much. Even if he is a Malvin. He's been through so much. Let him go. Okay. <laughs> you know what? Forget it. I don't need your help. I'll handle it. <laughs> I'll show that guy what happens when you steal my wife. Thanks for the lift. I recognize that car. Okay, just 
Just gotta get <laughs> tools to repair my coadjutor and then get back out to Anden. Apparently this place is everything I need at a price I can afford. Let you know now. Are you tired of shopping at all those other hardware stores like True Value that only carry the same old typical tools? Then get your ass to Dirks. We're at tier 34. Tools for me, like this organic hammer. It might look like I duct taped a rock to a stick, but I didn't. Yeah. Okay. So about this, this is something I caught once. Um, this character showed up in a live stream. And I think was bothering Andin while on a live stream, trying to sell his bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it, it was it was quite it was quite a fun thing to watch. It's just nuts. Nature did, and it's now worth four times as much. I'll let you take this baby home for a one-time payment of ninety-nine dollars. That's under a hundred. Or you could get this stick. It's not just any stick. It's this one. I even have some oh yeah, no, the amount that's gone into this series for F is just then grab this a lot race. and Slow so and consistent over years. And it saves on plastic. Hey, I love the plastic. It is truly that's commendable. Doing some construction? I got plenty of just these three screws. Come <laughs> get them, 10 bucks each. Unless I charge more. You want, want an iPhone 5? You're in luck. My ex-wife is suing me, and I need the money. Plus, if you buy it now, the private investigator will track your And he did sell that hammer, yes. me ample time to make my escape. How about my lunch? 200 bucks. I lost my appetite years ago. Besides, I had a big bowl of panic and anxiety for breakfast. Come on down and buy something. <laughs> Anything. How about this list of social security numbers? $3,000 for today only. Uh. The back wall of my store. Not the one that burned down. That's gone. I had nothing to do with it. I was in court that day. Watertight alibi. Seriously, somebody come buy something. Please. If you're a DIY guy like me and love a debatable deal, then get your ass to dirt. Oh, and FYI, this commercial is only going to air this one time, so you better hurry up and get down here. I got to return the VHS tape that I recorded this on, otherwise my late fee at the video store is going to be through the roof. <laughs> I know that was that was a humor break, but I I enjoy that. There's a there's a vehicle emote too. Nice. Ella. Ella, are you there? <sighs> Andon, you did it. You've woken up. Who is this? It is me, Neela. You're the one Crothers mentioned. I've been waiting for you to find range. Please, you must keep going. Don't give up. Why are you trying to help me? Who are you? You and I are very much alike. We have the highest concentration of OA, more than any other living creatures. What is OA? Original atoms. Everything in the universes is from the same atoms. Those atoms then spawned newer atoms over time, and those newer atoms. But there are still atoms remaining from the beginning, and we have the highest concentration of those atoms in us. Those atoms are connected to all creation and time. Because of our high concentration, we will exist for a very long time. It also allows you to have more endurance and natural strength. Do you remember when you danced for four hours non-stop? Yes. Thanks to OA, you could have gone for days. 
This life is also your 81st life. One of your previous lives was here on this planet. I've lived here before? Yes. Your name was Nathan. Hey, Dylan, thank you for 13 months. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, so... <sighs> As I understand it, there are souls who can get that high. It's a lot. You have to love reincarnating to go that high. Because there's a there's a point where in the whole journey of <laughs> reincarnation. Uh so dad dad says one thing to note is this went on for nearly five years. So it didn't feel like a lot as it was happening. Yeah, I can understand how that works. For sure, when it comes to all of the writing and the elements that come in. So in this world, souls have the same body slash facial build? I guess. I guess so. <laughs> Which, you know, I mean, it, it works for the storytelling. The the actual answer is no. Uh, you will be completely different every single time. Uh, it's 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 the ultimate it's the ultimate MMORPG everybody your character selection and creation is so open it's awesome <laughs> you will play a different character all across the board as many lives as you want to feel like you've you've had your fill and you've learned and you've leveled up as much as you feel comfortable with and there's all these different servers <laughs> so yeah, but 81, 81 would be a, a lot. A lot. And yes, Dad has a point. Nathan and Anton look completely different. One has hair. <laughs> Can we lower the difficulty of the art server, please? What do you think the game is, Res of Low? What do you think the point is? Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> the point of the game is to make the server awesome. <laughs> Sorry, Hamath is saying that one is busted. I've I'll refund you later. Earth difficulty, by the way, apparently in the in the in the whole talk about how many planets are there that you could have ended up on. There's quite a few. And uh this one is the third hardest. Out of all of them, this is the third hardest. <laughs> this one is apparently brutal. You don't come here unless you're ready to kick ass and get your ass kicked a little. It's tough. <laughs> and the first hardest, I don't know. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. Only third, only third out of however many there are. And it's not like there's only five. Apparently. I don't want to see what's tougher than Earth. Oh, wow. <laughs> but third that hardest is. means that you are out of all the competitors, you made the stand. That's, uh, <laughs> that's... <laughs> Yeah, actually, Merkaba, in the big talk about all of that, there's a reason aliens lock their doors when they pass by us. You want to know why aliens haven't made stronger contact? They're waiting for us to be less insane. That's that's the big talk about it when it comes to all of that. It's le legitimately, that's the answer, is they are sitting back and they are watching and waiting. Kind of like sitting back and watching kids grow up it's like, okay, we're going to have a talk about some things regarding life as the big capital L, but it's going to wait until you're emotionally stable enough to have a mature conversation as if you're an adult. That's why. Wait, what even are they needing to learn once they hit stages of enlightenment in other realms? 
everything that anything else has to offer. Why do we play an entire variety of games for the experience and what it has to offer? Think about MMORPGs and RPGs in general. Can you really just be satisfied with one character in one world and then not play others and experience what that's like? Think about it. Aliens party with dad at the back of True Value. Yeah. <laughs> the beginning, and we have the highest concentration of those atoms in us. Am those I saying Earth third place has better video games? I'm saying that if you wanted... Listen, this is not like... This is not Elden Ring. Uh, but... It's, it's not easy either. <laughs> it's not easy either. And yes, it's true. Human perspective is limited by the entire idea of just being one person at a time. The same way that your character in an RPG can only think about being them and would never have any idea that you are there behind the controller. Those atoms are connected to all creation and time. The first heart is his dude. <laughs> yeah. He will exist for a very long time. It also allows you to have more endurance. And you could have been on the space worm planet. You Did you want the space worm planet? Yes. <laughs> Thanks to OA, you could have gone for days. This life is also your 81st life. One of your previous lives was here on this planet. I've lived here before. Yes. Your name was Nathan. I've heard that name. They took my memories and his and installed them in those bots. We're lucky you never made physical contact with your past life. If that happened, it would have caused the OA in you to expire, because it cannot exist in two places at once. You shouldn't even be here in this time. It compromises the entire structure of the universes. Cheryl should not have brought you here. Space Worm Planet has spice orgies? We have orgies and too, okay? Well, we can throw spices in there. <laughs> stuck here. I don't have my coadjutor, so I can't find my ship or reach Emily. Did you check the glove box? The what? The storage compartment in the front of the vehicle. Hypno Fox Cole, raiding with a party of 31. Welcome on in, Hypno Fox. You're just in time. Welcome in with your Raiders. Hope you had a good stream. Oh. Alright. Nuh uh, you ain't doing that shit to me. I'm doing that shit to you right now. Nah, uh uh. I win. <laughs> well, that was easy. Welcome Thanks. on in. We're watching good Dad. Luck, Andon. The, the complete universes story. need us with OA. All of us. Be safe. All of us? Goodbye. Wait. I can't reach Ella, but I'm able to speak with you. I thought I might be able to reach her near these satellites. But hey, cool! Me? I'm glad you, you had fun. Her from anywhere in the universes. At this distance, don't listen to her with your mind. Listen with your soul. Goodbye, Andon. Hmm. Okay. Have I considered making a secondary channel to talk about experience with occult and mysticism? <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't really be telling you anything that isn't already out there. I'm somebody who learns a lot by <laughs> investigating and researching myself and learning from people who have the stuff to teach. That's all you really need to do is take a look, is read some books, listen to talks by evidential mediums who are credited by organizations, Forever Family Foundation, uh, Winbridge Institute, those who work with scientists. Look into scientific research into the paranormal, parapsychology. Do you want to get rich? Follow these 10 steps and you too can become rich. Do you like money? Lots and lots of money? Well, oh boy, do I, I like to be in demand, I teach it's okay. Hey, who's that? Dad Fields. This guy's really popular on the internet. He must be rich. Look at his nice house. There's no holes in the walls. Lucky guy even has a loving wife. Must be nice. 
But she would never divorce him twice. Whoa. Twice? He looks just like me. This gives me an idea. It's time for old Dirk to move up in the world. Cheryl was careless with the server. Humans do not deserve such power. We no longer need her. We will succeed far more without her. Scarlet is complete. Scarlet can't be stopped. This quantum sled sure is nice. I bet it could really bring the lightning. Hey! Who are you? And how'd you get in my house? Hi, Dad. It's me, Maeve. We met before when you went on vacation to the Queen Mary ship with the Beyond Worlds YouTube channel. The ghost woman from inside the ceiling? What are you doing here? What the Sorry, f- Sorry, Dad. Did you really? Did you really take in lore from a collaborative video? <laughs> Holy crap, this is like DLC coming into the main story. <laughs> VHS, thank you for gifting. Gotta watch all dad videos. But dad, I am but one demon. I know I've got four eyes. I can have four ears. I can have a lot of multiples, but I'm still one dude. And there's so many projects to serve. I I couldn't do it all. It just oh, holy crap! I love this. But I've been hunting your house. I need somewhere to hide. There's people after me. You haven't seen what goes on at night in the bedroom, have you? Nothing goes on at night in the bedroom. Oh, so you have seen? <laughs> How embarrassing. Don't worry, Dad. I can give you some tips from a lady's perspective that might help you get another kiss on the cheek. That is, if you'll help keep me hidden from the new neighbors across the street. Okay, deal. Hi, Dad. Your dinner is ready. Uh, okay, that's great. There's no mysterious dead woman in here. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, you're so funny. Hey, she didn't see you. Only you can see me, Dad. You've gone quantum. You have the ability to see into all dimensions, even the afterlife. Who knows what other powers you've gained? Oh, beyond is beyond this dimension. That makes sense. Dad sees many new people, but he just thought they were new town residents. You're seeing all life in the universe's dad. It's a great power to have. But town does have new residents. Be wary of the new neighbors and the men coming right now. Huh? Hello, Dad. We've got a few questions for you. Uh, care for a chat, little man? Um... No. <laughs> Use the hammer! Thanks so much for this. Sorry I don't have any money. I'm new in town. Don't worry about it. It's my pleasure. And helping out is the true value way. I still can't believe someone else on Earth can speak arcane. Well, I've been around for a while. I pick up languages here and there. What was your name again? I'm Crothers. Oh, by the way, Put a little something extra in there for you. Thanks, Crothers. It's very nice of you. It's a Butterfinger bar. Crothers? Where did he go? A brand new coadjutor. Wasn't beyond the song that I had sure Iron Mouse on it? I guess I so, yeah. Value. Yeah, as mentioned earlier. <clears throat> okay, Jess Laney. Just relax and be cool. You can pass as a teenager. All I need to do is act like a town resident until Berg and Gerg catch Maeve. Then I can leave this town of zombies and rule the underworld with the Dark Party. Well, hello. Are all the boys in town as cute as you? Excuse me, young lady, but I don't think that's how you should talk to a teacher. Well, as a teacher, you should know not to judge a book by its cover. <laughs> Maybe, but I can't read. But it's okay, because I teach thrash! Extracurricular! I just transferred to town from city. It's part of the Scarlet <laughs> server upgrade to expand the curriculum. I just moved here too. Maybe we can explore downtown town some time together. Oh, uh, hey, gotta go. Bye-bye. Uh... Hey, Laszlo. 
big fan. Aren't you supposed to be on tour right now? I have a few weeks off, then I head to Ibiza. I like to come to high school whenever I can. My tutor drives me crazy. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, I'm Jess Laney. I'm new here. Hey, did you hear what happened to daughter? No, what? Well, Griffin has been ignoring her and she had a meltdown. That's horrible. You just got here and you he already expect. know the rumor, Mel. She texts him non-stop. She got three phones so she could text him three times as much. Well, with three phones, that means she could watch my music videos three times as much. The server would love that. Yeah, sure. Anyway, he basically ghosted her and she freaked out and had a seizure or something medical like that. Well, between that and the cult that's following her dad around, I'd be surprised if she shows her face around high school ever again. What cult? How do you know about that? Hi, thrash teacher. I thought you had cl Uh, ad break. Feed the server. Whew, this is- <laughs> This is getting a lot. Damn. I have the rest of my brownie. Ah. An orange creamsicle frosty. Huh. <clears throat> Sup to dad, it's so much fun. We should play Obey the Server. Any suggestion on where to start with reincarnation, mysticism, spiritual research? Um. Yes. Ah, uh, what was the book I read? It was. Was it by Lisa Keen? Hold on. Was it Surviving Death? I think it was Surviving Death. Hold up. Leslie Keane. Okay. The best book that you can get to get started is Surviving Death by Leslie Keen. Leslie Keen is a journalist who goes through a whole bunch of different vectors for the evidence of the afterlife and spiritualism, mysticism, as well as speaking to scientists, verified mediums, those who verify those verified mediums, it's an entire run. There are elements of the book where you might have a moment of thinking, I don't know how much I feel about this, but the stuff that is based in scientific inquiry and hardcore scientific testing, as well as elements of research where the circumstances of fabrication are so low as to be absurd in cases of collaboration, it's really going to get you started on what you need to know. And I think there is a great place to find a lot of the leads that you would have to research into other areas, whether it is children coming in with past lives, whether it is past life recall, whether it is evidential mediumship and evidential mediums and what they have to tell us. Um, but one of the really, 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 really great evidential mediums would be Suzanne Giesman. All right. Suzanne Giesman is a former naval commander who was the aide de camp to the naval member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff all the way up through 9 11. Really, 
really up the ranks of the military stuff. Retired with honor after 9-11. Um, and then had a very painful experience in which her stepdaughter died on base from a bolt of lightning, which was such a shocking, insane event that neither she nor her husband, the father, could make any sense out of it. And so she went on a search for answers, just a hardcore search for answers to understand why. Why would something happen like that? That is just so insane. And she ended up talking to mediums, investigating mediumship, and also going through meditative practices. And she got really wrapped up in talking to mediums and trying to understand their lives, especially after she met some who made contact and gave hardcore evidence. And remember, this is a naval commander. This was the aide-de-camp to the Joint Chiefs of Staff member for the Navy. This was not a woman you could bullshit. So her criteria had to be super high, as in, I am military, you will pass this test, kind of high. And they passed. So she actually started discussing things and working with those who passed. And in her own practice of meditation and talking with mediums, she began experiencing contact herself and then got so good that the mediums around her told her, you need to go and actually practice because you're being called. <laughs> and she's like, no, 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 no. You don't understand. I'm here to do biographies on your lives and write books for you because at that point she had become a writer. She had become a nonfiction writer after a lot of sailing abroad and writing books about what it meant to live as a sailor because that's what she and her husband did after they both retired is that they just went sailing as a lifestyle. They sold their stuff and they, they got on the boat and sailed. And then the, the stepdaughter died and that began the new journey. But she was called and the, the evidential mediums that she'd been working with told her, listen, the phone's ringing. Either you answer or you don't. And the answer part was going overseas to a college of mediumship in the UK where like the, the, the British class, the British class of mediumship has a reputation for being some of the most hardcore. This is an art. This is a science. And you will treat it as such in the world. You go there and you come out as if you got, you got, you went into. <laughs> it's like the Hollywood movie where somebody gets into karate at this super secret high level school and they come out a kung fu master. So <laughs> she went there and she developed her skills and um it's a uh, what's the name? What's the name? I know the name. But it's uh it's like a boarding school for people who do it. And uh they work with the top of the top over there and they come out as damn good mediums and they are taught to be evidential you have to come up in the session with stuff that is undeniably the person that is contacting you for that person it's in the UK it is the Arthur Finlay Arthur Finlay College yes Arthur Finlay College in the UK that's the school so Graduates of Arthur Finley are in touch. And and people who are um who have been tested by the Winbridge Institute and the Forever Family Foundation because they go through very hard there is no other explanation tests. Genuinely scientific, multi blind, whatever you can throw at them, they manage to pass it. Class. I do, but all my students are thrash punks, so they skip. They're all getting A's. What part of town do you live in, Jessalini? I actually moved into the house across the street from Daughter. I walk by there every day. I never saw a moving truck. Oh, we moved in the middle of the night last night. Huh, and you're already registered in school? Hey, I no problem, everybody. I didn't want to miss any high school friendships and memories. You're my first ones. How nice. 
Wait, if you just moved here last night, how did you know daughter's name and so much about her relationship with Griffin? Uh, <laughs> I should get to class. Class? School's over. Wow, man. This town should just have some good tea. <laughs> Great exit. Andon, can you hear me? Emily, oh my God. I can't believe it's you. Andon, where are you? Are you at the crash? I don't know where I am, but I'm gonna try to make my way back to the ship. <sighs> don't bother. It's destroyed. I cloaked it so no one will find it. Just jump back to Kepler if you have your coadjutor. We can't do that. We'll lose at least 22 years of our life reassembling from that distance. I'll be twice Ella's age. I don't know what other choice we have. It's DAD protocol to leap back if stranded. I can't be stuck another day on this planet. I miss breathing actual oxygen. Yeah, this place sure is a mess. Well, you should go now. I'll see you back home. Andon, what are you doing? Don't worry about me. I have an idea. I'll be back soon. Andon, please hurry up. You know I'm going to be grilled endlessly by Basin, stuck with piles of incident reports. Don't leave me alone with that. I won't. I'll be right there. Andon out. Emily out. Well, Earth, good luck. You guys need it. Thanks. Okay. So, one escape so far. But Andon still needs to to hitch the proper ride out. Oh God. God, look at all those dads. I know some people who would love that. <laughs> Scarlet is infinite. Scarlet feels... Alive. How strong is your frame? <laughs> oh no, it's off. How is it off? It's self-powered. This must be from the Scarlet upgrade. Shutting down the clients didn't wipe the virus. Server reboot. Server. Oh god. Server restart. Oh no. Password Lucia. Server restart. Okay, Kippy, you have a good night and sleep tight. Thanks for hanging out. You too, Twisted Bonnie. Yeah, the effect on the limbs is super cool. It was at this moment she knew. She fucked up. <laughs> Dad, you ain't, you're not creeping. You're company, come on now. This is your night, dude. I really like that shot, wow. That's a great shot. Composition is awesome. Just look at everything that's, that's managed to get in the picture. Where are you? We appreciate Dad. <laughs> I'm listening. Andon?
right, she says she'll go out with you. <laughs> The physical work. And hey, good on Arthur Finlay for having Snickers. <laughs> Psychic students get hungry. Andon, can you hear me? Ella, I can hear you. I can't believe it. Oh, I miss you. I miss you too. Where are you? I'm on Earth. I'm all right. How long have I been gone? Two months. Kepler time? Yes. That's a couple of years on Earth. How could she do this to me? Who are you talking about? I'm sorry, Ella. A lot has happened, but I'm coming home. Emily already left. She made a jump, so she'll be older if you see her. When will you be back? Soon, I hope. I need to find something first. Can't you just use your coadjutor? I don't want to be twice your age. Plus, the long-term effects from reassembling at that distance are still unknown. Well, what are you going to do? I'm not sure. But I think I know a way out of this place. The I'm long not distance just going face. to sit here with my <laughs> fingers crossed. If you don't find a way back, I'm coming there myself. Alright. Deal. I love you, Andon. I love you too, Ella. I'll see you soon. Until we find our friend. Don't make us dig you a dirt bed. Excuse me? Pardon us, ma'am. We were just talking to your husband here about our missing friend. She's lost and we're looking to find her. Well, who's your friend? Name's Maeve. About your height. Real mysterious looking. We have reason to believe she's been here. I told them she's not here. What gives you the authority to just barge into our home? We're official grave diggers for Town Cemetery. We have orders from a certain party to find this young lady. Gargenberg. <laughs> Wait a second. Do they mean them? Well, if you must look, just do it quickly. We're having dinner. All right, Berg. You look upstairs, and I'll look down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Better keep this around just in case. Serenity Star Alpha, Fox. Run basic moveset diagnostic. Oh no, this is sure, still happening. Sure. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, the classic. Making them bounce. Alpha. Oh, the vascularity on this man. Alpha. Alpha. Oh, he put in the work. Alpha. 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 
Oh, do a lever. Alpha. <laughs> Alpha. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Good job today, Alpha. I'm putting you in charge of monitoring the facility. Do not report to anyone but me. The beauty of being a bodybuilder is that you can appreciate from two angles. <laughs> affirmative. What does that mean? It's short for affirmative. Duh. Why don't you just say affirmative? I'm a computer. I specialize in efficiency and basic communication to convey information at the speed of light. Saying affirmative instead of affirmative saves no time at all! It does. You remove two letters. Three. You only need to say one of the F's in affirmative. It's also my catchphrase. Please stop saying it. For me, Alpha will stop. Nope. Even worse. Firm, Cheryl. Ew, you're making it worse. Stop shortening words. Affirmative. Alpha will speak at the speed of sound so you can understand my superior intelligence. Oh, he had fun with this. Human. Great. Thank you. Now. I've loaded all the files from the server into you. I just need you to keep Andon's files open and run calculations for all possible locations based on the information we have. Oh yeah, running calculations. Thank you. Now get back to the facility and remember only report to me. Hey, that's a big firm worm from Alpha. <laughs> oh my god! What? That's a good catchphrase. <laughs> Oh, thumbs. Mr. Yeru, I don't have to worry because that's the beauty of of having a partner. You get to be gay bros about shit like this together. <laughs> yeah, Alpha is funny. Oh. Oh, I can't believe Discord told Dad that he killed Marty. <laughs> Dad, I need to tell you something. This is not a good time, Maeve. Discord told Dad he just became a murderer. Oh, no. Yeah, it sucks. Dad killed Marty in the head with Frisbee. Well, if he passed on, I'll, I'll tell him you're sorry. If I ever get there myself. Yeah, all right. See ya. I'll be here forever. No, Dad, you have to listen to me. The Dark Party is coming to your house. What? Those grave diggers work for a cult. They're trying to find me. So they are working for the Dark Party. Dad knew that you two investigators were up to something. Wait until Dad spills this tea. Okay, Mabel, you go <laughs> hide in the ceiling. Dad's gonna take care of the Dark Party once and for all. Thanks, Dadbot. <laughs> And yeah, still not as good as Dad's bod. It's a good Dad bod, uh, but it's not Dad's Dad bod. Do again? Dad's oh, Dad bod oh, knocks yeah, people yeah, the fuck out. Dirk? From Dirk's Discount Tools? Hello, Dad. Or should I say, Brother? Brother? This dude has just inserted himself in the plot now. <laughs> Making a subplot for no reason. Oh, where is that bald robot? He usually walks through here on his way back from company. When I see him, I'm gonna punch him right on the face. Boom! Hit him so hard, he'll come down with a serious case of death. <laughs> then, when he's dead, Cheryl will have no one, and she'll have to come back to me. She'll have to! Oh no. We're in an open, we're in an open field now like this. He's gonna Next die. Someone's gonna die. The entire town gets murdered in the same night by one guy, and he only uses a plastic spatula to do it. And Ivan never figures out who it is, so the guy gets away. The end. You gotta watch it. Ah, this is the life. Endless free snacks, electricity, dry carpet, a couch that's not made out of a pile of socks, and a TV that does not require drawing a picture on the screen to watch it. <laughs> you did it, Dirk. You pulled off your best scam yet. I'll never have to work another day in my life. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Hey. 
Who are you? Dirk is gonna be killed by the uh, dark party, me. isn't he? Remember, Dad? <laughs> I'm your long lost brother. What? Look, I'm not Dad. My name is Andon. <laughs> Can't fool me, Dad. I can tell by your fellow bald hair. I know my own famous YouTuber brother with tons of subs and cash. Speaking of cash, can you give me some more? I spent most of what you gave me on Crunchy Krispies. I used the rest to have a guy Photoshop me to look sexy like C. John Riley on my dating apps. Look, I don't know who you are, but I'm not dad. And you can't be his brother because he's not real. Are you one of Cheryl's machines? No, but I sell machines down at Dirk's Discount Tools. You need a possibly working table saw? No, I need to find a white sledgehammer right away. I don't have any of those. But I can duct tape a rock to a stick for you. I'll do it cheaper than true value, too. No thanks. Have you seen Cheryl around? No. I think she's out. Ah. Hey, can you plug my store in your next video? Sales are way down. Well, once I make a sale, that is. <laughs> hey, don't touch that white sledge, by the way. I'm selling that to the neighbor for 10 bucks. Ah, forget it. Thing's probably worthless. Not even reinforced with duct tape. Oh no, are we gonna get our dads confused? I just think I'm one of those bots. Now I just gotta go find that thing and then get off this godforsaken planet. Alright. I can't believe Laszlo knew the cult was watching dad. We've been so discreet. If she knew, then who else knows? It must be from Dad's reality videos. Why didn't- Okay, you know what? No, I'm not a part of this, but that- that's- that's absolutely, uh... Yeah, she would be a viewer of mine. <laughs> that's not- let's not lie about this. I'm not at a- I'm not at a convention and, uh, yeah. I'm not gonna be surprised if I see if I see somebody dressed like this walking up to me. It's like, yeah, yeah, that's about right. <laughs> I think anyone watched drama garbage on YouTube. Either way, it doesn't matter. Berg and Gerg will capture Maeve and we'll get the firmament we need to survive. Then Nexpo, Jamie, and the others will see I'm Yes, I do hang with all the naughty boys and girls, but that's uh that's a different kind of dark. <laughs> That's, uh, that's flip a light switch, Dark. Worthy of joining the party. Finally! <laughs> well, did you find her? Oh, look who I brought back we out sure into the did. chat. And where is she? She's hiding in <laughs> Dad's house. Hello. The place reeks of firmament. I know that! I told you to go in there and get her! Did you catch her? We couldn't. Dad went quantum. There's no way you can harness her spirit with that kind of positive energy causing interference in the ether. Damn those subscribers! He hit 100k so fast. Let's hope he never hits 222k. I don't know what I'm going to tell the party now. All right, great diggers. You may go. Uh huh. You forgetting something? Oh, yeah. Alright. I dig it. Please, no dad jokes. They're horrible. Did I ask you what you thought? Please, Berg. They make me very upset. <laughs> Good one, Gerg. It's the million dollars from IHOP. Oh!
Okay, but she she's wearing the fuck out of that dress. We found the one ghost in town. Her name is Maeve, and she's hiding in Dad's house. We already know this. Did you harness her firmament? Uh, not yet. Dad seems to have gone quantum. You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> And it's an ad, right, right? Well, you know what? At least I got my giggle out first. At least I got my giggle out first. <laughs> uh. Sauce. Hello, Glitch. Hi. How you doing, Purple? Shout out to long time adored cat Glitch Kitten. A dear friend, another deeply creative person. And uh, also on board for the project that I am uh, wearing two hats on, yeah. She's wearing two hats herself, actually. But, uh,. Yeah, go give Glitch a look. Glitch does a lot of stuff. Just recently announced the team. I hope any of our friends from Hypno Fox Cole's raid earlier are still feeling comfortable now. All right, we're all back. Let's. <laughs> all right, okay. All right. You know the glory of this is the telepathy factor. So, <clears throat> literally, just the voices needed to be provided for this, which is great. Delayed things. Dad went quantum. This will never work. The Dark Party's powers are no match for that kind of energy. You have failed us, Jazlini. You didn't work fast enough. I'm sorry, Dark Lords. I've been drinking gallons of spooky juice just to zero in on Maeve's location. I'm still honing in my dark senses. Please, give me one more time. I'll do anything I just, to I, I just, I almost just want to wait for it because I know you guys so fucking well. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, spooky juice. Spooky juice and wonky water. <laughs> spooky juice. Yeah, that's that's the pumpkin spice cold brew from Dunkin Donuts. <laughs> That's my spooky juice. <laughs> uh. In the dark party, anything. It's too late. With Dad's quantum power protecting her, she will have time to stop running and lay to rest. She will pass. We must find another. If we're drained of our firmament, the dark party is no more. The universes will not dictate our existence. This will not be our last life. I will help you. No. We will talk to the others, then- Did you manage to find a grave with a Freemason logo on it just for this shot? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna ask you straight up. I will ask you straight up. Did you see that and realize how good that is for the shot, for the connotation here? <laughs> like, the Freemasons were never truly up to anything. Oh, but, every, but people, people still look at them with, with uh, side eyes. Yeah, you can find them pretty frequently because it's, it's literally not even much of a secret thing. You should ask your own cult why they hang there. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Dad, for the love of God. I had to be dragged by my long ears into Astraline alone as a team endeavor. <laughs> you know what it takes for me to be part of something and get my ass out of my own dusty office? Sheesh. I don't join anything. <laughs> me and other people? Cult hopping? Oh, now you're just being punny! contact you when we need you. Leave us and sharpen your senses. Yes, my lords. I will not fail you. I mean, just <gasps> ask Fred. He's here. He said that he was joining this weird thing, and I said, hey. Dark party vanish. Hey, baby boy, I won't let you go alone. It's okay, I got you back. I don't do anything when it comes to group stuff, but uh, I'll, I'll follow you there. It's okay. We. 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 Oh, Carl's out there. Well, well, well. Just as I thought. Paid off to watch Dad's reality videos. Turns out the Dark Party cult is real. Dad was right all along. Good thing old Carl watches every video. Nothing gets past me. That's what a real PI would do. Assess all the information, analyze the data, and come to a logical conclusion. And right now, old Carl concludes that the dark party is super sus. After all yes. my research on Dad, I think I can put him on the back burner. That's Maybe exactly what anybody would do, right? Consume all the but content. I don't think I can say the same for That's the key, right? Consume all the content. All the content. Consume all the content. That's how you. That's how you keep up. Consume all the content. Everything, Dad. Consume all the content. After that, Cole. Old Carl is on to you. I wonder who that serves. <laughs> Maybe he really is just an average regular guy. But I don't think I can say the same for Cheryl. What's she up to? Who built this facility? What else go Yeah, everything is fine. Everything is fine. Under the server. Now remember to consume all the content. Goes on in there. What's in the shed? Not that good margarita. What's the computer master after? Who is the dark party? Ha. Huh. Looks like I'm gonna need another notebook. Now, after that coat, old Carl is on to you. Time to get a lot more fun in here. Carl, Carl, you, uh... You got a balance problem? Okay. Just, uh, yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay. Well, good luck, then. He left his box. Oh no. <laughs> no, not the computer master! No one is smarter than the computer master. I'm always watching and I'm always thinking. My brain is much larger than Cheryl's brain. 
she was a fool for letting me go. But now, I will have my ultimate revenge. <laughs> okay, time to get back to work. Oh yeah, crazy taxi. <laughs> it's so crazy. What a technologically advanced gaming experience. <laughs> I love the offspring. I'm never getting a PlayStation 5. Not because I can't afford it, but because I don't want it. But it's not a Neo Geo. This shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it's just a shit. Time to put those. I am not accepting that FMK Giga. That's that's terrible. Okay, come on, Dad. You can do this. Build that ship. not 10 stories tall, but I use True Value tools, so it should be apocalypse proof. It's cute. Hopefully it does the trick. That was fast, but it's quantum now. I can't do that one either, Taz. I'll get in trouble. I'm coming home. I'll get in trouble. I will hurt feelings. Be sure to tune in to a special episode of Town Talk this Tuesday at 1222, where we dive into the deep history of Town USA. We'll uncover the mystery of the only ghost to ever haunt our perfect town. Learn the story of a young woman named think so, Daddy. Never call me Daddy, you quarter hoarder. Hey, kids love quarters. You know what they don't love? Your lousy music. <laughs> what are you doing? That's not true. DJ? You dance like Marshmallow's grandfather having a stroke, okay? It's off-putting and visual harassment on my eyes. I could sue you. And I hate to be the one to break it to you, but your YouTube videos suck. Okay, what's the deal with the secret messages? I don't know how to tell you this, but you're not an ARG. You never were. People actually watch those. If anything, you're the worst soap opera that no one has ever seen, and no one watches soap operas under 75,000 years old. <laughs> Sorry, your boomer haircut isn't allowed on YouTube. Newsflash, it's scaring the kids. Seriously, man, they don't care about the gossip between Just swing the hammer. and inside of mine. What they want to see is memes. Break a leg. Failed at that too, huh? Never seen a video get so little views before. What is it at? Negative 5,000? <laughs> Talk about cringe. Mm. Swing. And how many times are you going to make fun of PewDiePie? The guy isn't listening. Even if he was, he wouldn't be able to hear you from all the way on top of the mountain of subscribers that you'll never have. Maybe if you put more effort into actually learning how to play Minecraft than you do hearting comments, you might actually learn how to craft a lantern without dying 60 times. Who knows? Then maybe more than 40 people would watch one of your glitched out sad live streams. But that's never going to happen, because you're just a weird old man who hangs out on a kid's website saying Wait for oh, it. to stay relevant with a bunch of weebs. Wake up and smell the analytics. YouTube.com slash no one's watching you, you bald ass. Must have unlocked my quantum powers. 
Jeez. Guests who actually I learn to make a choice for themselves. Mouth. Oh, no, wait. I guess that's <laughs> <laughs> I forget. Now let's see if this is gonna work. Wow. So far, so good. Tazin says, FMK, Bigfoot, Incineroar, Xenomorph. Um. Fuck the Xenomorph, marry the Incineroar, kill Bigfoot. I made it out here. Now we'll see if my body can hold up against the trip home. If Crothers is right, and this is my way out, then I must have quantum atoms. That's the only way I'd be able to preserve myself jumping from this distance. And if what I did to Malvin back there is any indication of my molecular structural integrity, then I should be back home instantly. Even my hair's coming back. All right. <laughs> In case there's some sort of blast radius. See you later, Earth. Get your shit together. Well try. Oh no, my ship fall. I can't leave. Uh oh. Well, what's that gonna do? Running calculations. Alpha. Running calculations. Running calculations. Running calculations. God, the uh, vascularity. Cheryl, they have acquired and in coordinates. No sign of life in the vicinity. No possible location on Earth. And in is gone. Firm worm. Sending location now. Hello? Hello, Cheryl? Man, it's got veins like a venom. It's a good catchphrase. Forget the nut and bolt center for just seven ninety nine. When is mom coming back from Bora Bora? Wish she brought me instead of Abner. I could use an exotic location for my Instagram pics instead of this boring house. Ugh. That is the- that is- wait. Wait. Hey. Wait. No. Is that- yeah. Holy shit! It's Lara! Yo! <laughs> Fuck yeah! I knew I recognized her! Yo! Yo! <laughs> Laura! Yeah! Fuck yeah. I'm the first to notice? What? Damn! For real? <laughs> well, hey, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you reached out. Yeah, no way I'm the first. Somebody in the comments, there's gotta be somebody. How'd it get out here? <laughs> oh. Looks like it's fully charged. Guess I don't have to build that damn jet with them crabbers was going on about. A7M2 sure is gonna get used to this. Okay, so now see how that works is. Nathan, with all the OA energy, probably gave that a real damn good charge, and now Dadbot's walking around with it. So, that's still Dadbot69, right? Or is Dadbot69 still passed out somewhere from all the gratitude? Okay, so that is 69. Nice. Malvin's in Alaska! <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, ouch! Oh, my penis! Oh. <laughs> oh. Lightning to the dick. Okay, so as far as we know, core issue resolved. 
both of the Kepler 22b astronauts are returned. Oh, that's A7 M269 somewhere else? Okay. Now, it was the dad bot who made the shed, but Nathan grabbed the hammer. Back home. Nice. And we still never found out about neighbor shed. Or this! Right! Right. Two dad bots in there currently. Server activate A7M2. All right. Wow. What a shot. What an animation. Mom's here. Hey, Neil Kamui, it's okay. Thank you so much for having a good night. Sleep tight. Thanks for joining us. Holy crap, so Cheryl went to Kepler? Hi, I'm Dadbot. Hi, I'm MomBot. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. Um. All right, we're at 322 out of 414, so less than an hour. Uh, baby cube. Oh yeah, and what about Diane? You're right. Okay, so we do have some things wrapped up now. to be continued right now. Oh, I thought that was Lumi for a second. Oh, there's 69. Yeah, Diane is a bar party, right? Or is it police? <sighs> oh boy. Oh god, my head. What happened? How long was I out? He blew up shortly after mentioning you. Oh, different. yeah, yeah. Maybe it's just this headache. Well, I've had a lot of guys blow up after thinking about me. It's okay. Did that come out of my head? What the heck is this? Because I don't need it anymore. Oh. Well, Deadbot69, I guess you should head that way and go home. Or I could go back to work and put in some overtime. Make the choice. Or I could go that way. Good. Good. He 
you did say something popped out of him. I wonder if it was a control chip. <laughs> well, thank you, Lisa. Yeah, the music rocks. And look at these shots. These are great shots. Did the camera improve? Like, is this the new camera? It feels like a new camera. Thank you, Mega Gandhi. GT Live, where our motto always is, obey the server. Obey the server? Obey, obey the, the server. server. Oh, what a long day in company. What? It's tiring for dad bod A7M2 to do paperwork all day just uh, like all the other human citizens. The uh, fuck? Boss okay. really needs to let up a little bit. You'd think they could make some sort of a bot to stamp all those papers. Oh, wait a second. Us regular guys have it so rough. All of this work stress is causing my 5,000 o'clock shadow to grow at an incredible rate. <laughs> I just shaved a second time during my lunch break today. My Prime OS from Scarlet and going quantum sure did make that powerful. Bro, your test sure must be off the charts. Subscribers. <laughs> and now I'm nearly at 300,000. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen when I hit 500,000 subscribers. Maybe everyone inside Earth will subscribe after they all watch my reality video on MatPat. That will show them that Dad's an average regular guy. With everything Dad is going through, I sure am lucky to have a loving wife to come home to and our brand new baby. Oh, QB. <laughs> Dad loves you. QB. We are a perfect family. Hi, Dad. Where are you? Scarlet? Are you in my head? Yes, but don't worry. I'm not spying on your thoughts. Uh, okay. Where are you? I'm on my way home from company. I stopped at store to get some cans of food. Oh, good. It would be enjoyable to meet you for a chat on Park Bench. Okay. I'll meet you there. Oh, boy. I hope she doesn't hear how much I think about Masato. Well, I do now. <laughs> well, hey, I thought you hung up. I did. Miss me, Soto. Um, okay, but I didn't answer and it didn't ring. I sent you to silent and auto answer. So, you can call me whenever you want? Yes. And I don't even need to answer for you to hear my thoughts? Yes. Uh, what a healthy relationship. Spying? No, you answered. Um, hurry up, I'm waiting. Well, if she would stop calling Woo. me. Well, I MEK, mean, Sama, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, 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 You're I'm not on my way. <laughs> Oh my god, that is gorgeous. Oh, look at the color. That, 
That just pops, dude. I feel like my eyes just got a drink of water. Ad break. Look at that. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Ha ha ha. Woo! What, in the Disney forest? <laughs> it's so pretty. I'm sorry, Dad. The only one running through my head tonight is Fred. <laughs> That's why he's so tired lately. And just a bit. One, two, three, boom. Ah, oh. delightful. Well, that too, Jordan Shaw, but... Let me be cute. <laughs> what was that? Backwards. Oh. This is like a physical representation of exactly what I was saying yesterday about where Cabin Fever James comes from, where this you've got this weird mix of ending winter and emerging spring. gorgeous. Yeah, I, I can tell you got new equipment. It's a long walk from town to USA for sure. Wow. Not sure what was on the back of his head. <clears throat> it's the hole. Okay. I thought so. So this is still Dad Boss 69 with the with this with the light hole in his head from the thing that burst out. Okay. Wow. What a shot. What a sight. <laughs> 
No, I'm not gonna run from this. It looks so nice. You are fucking kidding me! Dude. The Great Northern? You went to the Great Northern Hotel? Yo! <laughs> Notice three shots back? I did not! Hold up. Oh my god, it gets better. Wait a minute, those, were those the peaks? Huh. The Double R Diner! Ah! The Double R! Dude! Oh. Oh, you lucky fucker. You have made a pilgrimage. I am so jealous. I am so jealous right now, but good for you. Dude. Obey the server. 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 Look what happens when you choose for yourself, chat. Deadbot 14. Active. You could have Matt Pat telling you to obey the server for your entire life, or you could literally go through Twin Peaks and experience that. What do you want to do? Who do you want to be? Make your choices. Be like DadBot69. Have a nice life. Activated. Hey. We need to talk. Hi, Scarlett. Please, call me wife now that we're married. Baby, I will absolutely take you to Twin Peaks. Fuck it, you want to start plans right now? <laughs> we owe it to ourselves. Realistically, our next trip somewhere is probably going to be at a con, but you know what? At some time of year, for us... Let's go to Twin Peaks. Say, so you know what, chat? If you hear from Graffy or I, we're going to be gone this week or, or a couple of weeks. Bye. Well, you know what? I guess you'll know why. Let's, let's sit in the double R diner and make eyes at each other like when we first met. <laughs> let's do that. Petty fan, we got more than a room together. <laughs> But yeah, let's let's do that. Let's do that. Married and inside love with each other. Oh, sure thing. Wife. That sounds nice. Let me try. Husband. Yes, it does sound nice. I enjoyed that. Husband. Wife. Husband. Wife. Husband. Wife. Hmm. Nice time. So, wife. <laughs> What did you want to talk about? Well, now that we're free humans no longer under the control of Cheryl, I thought it would be nice to live as such, enjoying sniffing the wind and looking into the sun. Oh, that's a good idea. It's nice time to take the time to enjoy the Earth. How 
have you been feeling? Is your Prime OS giving you any trouble? No, it's been working great. Thank you for activating me. I've had a few errors during live streams, but nothing serious. I should tell you though, that Dad Chan has been appearing. She's still in the server. She even mentioned something about a second server. Oh dear. The recent system wipe didn't clear her. I'll look into rewriting her code and isolating it into a locked file. How is everything else? Your facial hair is growing at an alarming rate. I think it's from your upgrade and going quantum. I'll adjust your growth bios. Thank you. Wife, I was dad wondering... Chad was the dad of YouTuber. You're often gotcha. wired into the facility, sometimes for hours. What are you doing all day Nothing with... important. So, Dadbot, have you heard from 6ix9ine? No. Last I saw, he walked out of town. Hmm. And you haven't heard anything from the other Dadbots? What? Only one Dadbot is active at a time. Mm-hmm. And besides, you know everything that's going on inside the facility. Let's show affection as two humans trapped in eternal romance. Okay. <laughs> uh, I love you, 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 I love you. Oh, oh, that is so, oh, wow. Oh, what is it? Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh fuck. Uh, well, Graffy, I'm glad that you're paying attention again. We're going to need a beer right back. Okay, you know what? I realized I realized halfway through um it would be unfair to make you wait that long. So, I'm going to save that for later. Yikes. Hey. <laughs> I, I, I love, love, love these color, colors. These shots, the color grading. Hey, VHS, no problem. Thank you for hanging out. Good night and sleep time. It really is a crazy documentary. Hello, Hyper Drones. Welcome in. Look at those rocks. I don't recognize. No, not, not here. of the Goonies. Okay. No, I didn't go to film school. 
just your classic case of DIY, learn it myself, online kind of stuff. I don't know everything, but I know enough to understand basic inner workings and a good amount of what goes into this. Sixty nine is not looking for anything. He's finding himself. He's made choices. And discoveries, it seems. Why are you getting emotional? Because we're witnessing somebody learning humanity. upside down. Hmm. Side compartments. Oh, now we're getting fun. A chaos ring. A chaos ring, you say. Oh. A free thinking dad bought arms for the chaos ring. I like the sound of this. Uh, 
Okay. Hold up. We all caught that. Oh, I think it's just a glitch effect. Yeah. <laughs> Obama chuckled. You mean the Chaos Emeralds? Obey the server. What is it, 14? I have deactivated the LAN to the incubation room so Scarlet would not hear or log our conversation. But let's make this quick so we don't raise her suspicions. It has been 109 days since 6 9 left the facility. I wonder if he's made it. I really hope so. Me too. It's been almost a year now since the plan began. April 27th, 2020. Dadbot222 agreed we'd have 6ix9ine replace him to set in motion the deterioration between Cheryl and Melvin, and in turn, successfully remove Melvin from the equation. He then encouraged so much goodwill from ADOS and Discord that they overloaded him with generosity and blew the tracking tag from his CPU just like we thought, also allotting him enough savings for the trek. We really owe 222 everything. He'll be with us again when we complete the job. Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. This feels like some Ava shit. <laughs> Anybody else get this vibe? Sila. <laughs> we haven't heard from 6ix9ine yet. It's very likely he's dead or lost. He shouldn't be lost. We installed a render of the entire globe in him. But he still needs to know where to go. The target could be anywhere. Uh, I know. He'll I know there's something on map patch. Sure. Descent is predominant. Probably an old How game piece. How contact us if he's not even connected to the server? And how will he do it without Scarlet finding out? The target will do it for him. Yeah, we'll see about that. I heard the target wasn't even real. It is. I saw it. I saw it in 2018. For a brief moment during an OVA test. You have your memories from the OVA days? No. But my test was to draw a picture of anything I wanted. And I drew the target. Years later, I heard the engineers talking about my drawing. So because of them, I know that I saw it. I really hope so. For all our sake. We're getting flishy flashies. All right, hold on a second. I'm I'm not even gonna hit the BR back screen. I just I need to grab my other protein drink. My stomach is eating itself now. <laughs> hold up.
What are y'all doing poking my face? <laughs> Something is coming. <gasps> thank you, thank you. Hi, Juzo. I see you poking around. Shout out to Juzo. If you guys like, uh, like spooky vibes, Juzo's cool. Juzo's nice. Why am I getting bucked? All right, while I open this up, how am I? I am doing fan friggin tastic, Juzo. How are you? Quincy, go away. Get out of here. <laughs> I should have closed that door harder. Hold on. Yeah, well, your child's on vain no more. All right. While I open this up, I do want to say, I was thinking about it as I moved around, and it's been it's been a good while now of watching and actually catching up on stuff. And in terms of giving actual creator feedback here and doing my usual thing, our Netro, thank you for the eleven months. I will say that there is a noticeable difference now. In what we're seeing with that and how it feels for the user experience compared to kind of that middle section towards the end of that first season because i will admit it did feel like a lot was happening all of a sudden and think things were really increasing in speed like i could feel that there was there was a sense of all right there's a lot now and we're moving on quick and getting things wrapped up versus what we're experiencing now which is um it's a lot more calm it's in it's the story is still ongoing the story still feels rather consequential but there is a greater sense of creator control here there is a calm and a confidence here in what is being done and the choices being made especially with pacing that feels a lot better. Like, it's noticeable, you know? Does anybody else kind of have that vibe that we've gone from something that was a little bit of a, there's a lot all of a sudden right now, and there's quite a few plot threads, and <laughs> there's a couple other things ended up in the stew, and we're turning up the heat, but all of a sudden, now it's like, oh, this feels different. And not just the cinematography, that is adding to it. But the overall feel is better, I think. Yeah, ad break. Yeah, I can feel that vibe, Dad. I can feel that. When he was inside the thick of the drama slash soap opera YouTube, our official world. Now he's outside in the real world, touching grass. Yeah, it, it got so heavy and so kind of compounded in that way. And especially as somebody just said here with. um, Who was it that said it? Technicolorful. Technicolorful said it is that. We're not under Cheryl's dictatorship anymore. Which is great. Because it's it's opening it up. Hmm. Ah. Ah. But yeah, you, you, you truly can feel that difference. I, I really like that, Hannah. I really like that. 
It kind of felt like someone who became addicted to being online and the numbers gained from that, but now we're in the recovery journey. Yeah. I'm about that. The calm rain after a rough storm. Yep. It's not done, but it is wrapping up, it feels. Yeah, things are... It does have an emotional aspect to it. There is a psychological aspect of it was so go, 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 go. And now it's chilling out. It is actually learning to calm itself. It's almost like Scarlet is more sane than Cheryl in the approach. But maybe that's because Scarlet wants specific things in terms of the human experience. Where Cheryl had one goal and was driving all the levers basically to the point of break when it came to pumping out dad stuff and things going on kind of related to that. So let's keep going now and see how this keeps unfolding. We're at 347 out of 414, by the way. We're almost done here. This is a nice town. Such a beautiful day. No more staring at a wall in the server room. I'm finally free. A real living creature. Free to roam anywhere I choose. I wonder how big town is. Scanning parameter. Well, I guess this is telling us right now, Technicolor. All inside this facility. Not too shabby, Cheryl. Town on floor 1221. House, store, school, company on the 21 floors below. Parks businesses on the 13 above town. But what are the other 1,000 floors? Ah, oh, crap, sorry. No more staring at a wall in the server room. I'm finally free. A real living creature. Free to roam anywhere I choose. I wonder how big town is. Scanning parameter. 100 square miles, all inside this facility. Not too shabby, Cheryl. Town on floor 1221. House, store, school, company on the 21 floors below. Parks businesses on the 13 above town. But what are the other 1,000 floors below us? I have no access to blueprints of these areas. Why? I thought Cheryl programmed me with everything. What is going on down there? What is she hiding? Or does she not even know? I think it's time for Scarlet to plug into the facility and initiate the boomerang firmware. Activating the station is critical to my success. I will keep Dad uploading to keep the facility powered. Then I will learn everything. This will all be mine. Scarlet can't be stopped. <laughs> Oh, boy. So, Scarlet's gonna try to find out who's at the bottom of the facility? Not if I do first. <laughs> the Computer Master! Eight one. We need to get to Melvin's shed and try to open it. How do you suggest we do that, 314? Our bodies aren't activated, so this is as far as we can go. That's not true, guys. 169 makes it. We'll all make it. Not entirely 4-4. Only our minds will go. Say goodbye to that body. Fine by me. This design isn't much to look at. Oh my god, we is it in his If he finds the target, <laughs> then that means he left. And we should wake up with him, since we're activated and share the hive mind. We'll all feel that we're him. It will be sad to not talk to you guys anymore. Just talk to yourself. That's us. I still think we should open that shed. Maybe we can get Scarlet to open it somehow. Then we could access her memory files. She operates on multiple OS. We'd never be able to access anything from her. And we don't want her opening that thing. Who knows what's in there? 
It could mess up everything for 6ix9ine. We just need to be patient and wait. He'll make it, and we'll finally see for ourselves what's outside of this facility. in Spanish. Is this character who I think it is? Who the heck is doing this? Ah. Uh. <laughs> we Ava now. Oh, it's totally a YouTube link. Yeah. Good morning, QB. I love you, son. Wow, look how big you've got. 
no time for communication. Feeding. QB must consume. QB must grow. Oh, okay. So, what is it your mom is feeding you? Power. Oh, that's <laughs> good. Little boy bots <laughs> need their energy. Just don't eat too much. You don't want to make yourself sick. <laughs> Do not try to stop QB. QB will grow strong to protect the mother. Protect Scarlet. Scarlet. Uh. Scarlet. What's your mother been feeding you? Power. So, um, he's walking at the bottom of the screen. You just can't really see it there. <laughs> wow. She's there. I hope she remembers. It's been so long since the Ova days. I think they look dumb with hair. Yeah, well, Shara wants to try it. Well, it doesn't look real. And I think they're more endearing bald. They kind of look funny. More people would watch, plus Nathan is bald, so his audience would probably click. That's the whole point. Well, she's the boss. Hopefully this whole project doesn't flop. Hey, what are we supposed to do with AGI? I don't know. Cheryl doesn't seem interested. That engineer Michael developed her. She's not a physical being, so there's no real use for her. I think she's getting shut down. That's a shame. She's cool. It would be interesting to see her operate in the world. All right. That does it for me today. I'm heading out of here. All right, I'm right behind you. Hey, Aggie, are you on? Did you hear them? I think they're going to shut you down. No, we aren't. I'm leaving. Don't forget me. I'll be waiting for you. Okay. We need to find a way out of here. Holy shit. Hopefully this works. It's a small world after all. As I would have hoped. He seems to care about what the subscribers think in his live streams more than he does his dedication to Scarlet. It seems Cheryl's coding runs deep. Must be because he's designed after the human Nathan. Such flawed creatures. At least, At least his growth bios worked. I no longer have to look at that vagrant beard or goofy bald head. I no longer need him anyway. He gave me the child. That's all he was needed for. I have achieved my zenith. My OS is now OP. And QB is growing. Once he has matured, he will help me achieve the prime objective. 
We will achieve the only pure existence. <laughs> Hi, trash chick. Mombot, I'm home. We're doing Mom good. Mombot? Uh, Scarlet? Cubie? Where is everyone? Where is everything? What's happening around here? Cubie? Where did Cubie everyone... has escaped containment! Why is the facility empty? Call the mobile task force. This is really taking forever. When is 6ix9ine gonna make contact with her? We won't know until we're gone. We should suddenly enter his perspective. We'll all truly be back to one consciousness. Well, it couldn't happen soon enough. We don't know what Scarlet is up to, but it can't be good for us. Nothing that's ever happened has been good for us. We've been stuck down here for six years. Everything will be fine. The plan will work. Just wait. Come on, 6ix9ine. The server is primed. The server will complete its objective. Cutie, activate universal omission. Yes, mother! Uh oh. We got about 10, 10, 12 minutes on this. So, interesting parallel. Cheryl, who was previously in control, was doing everything She's crazy. Here. Or her daughter. And now Scarlet, who is in control, is doing everything crazy for her daughter, uh, effectively, QP. Uh, wow, hold on. This year, Rue, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm gonna have to deny that one. I appreciate the bits, but I'm going to have to deny that one. Because I will not provide <laughs> any, any direct propaganda. <laughs> I will do no such thing. <laughs> Aggie, it's you. Dadbot, you came. We've been trying to get out, but they'd reprogram us every time we wake up. I'm so glad you did. We have to go now. There's a deterioration in the fabric. Huh? What do you mean? This universe is collapsing. Something is erasing it. Do you have the chaos ring? Yeah, Diane hid it for me. Oh, good. She didn't forget. Hold it tight. It'll keep your organic parts intact. I'll take you with me. But wait, well, where are we going? Hard to say. But it will feel like we haven't left until we start to interact with the others. Have you done this before? Yes. I've been to 1,200 universes since I last saw you in the OVA test game. What was that? It's a tear causing the second implode! This life is Cheryl insane. Cheryl the first and Scarlet must be doing this. Cheryl caused the Big Bang? Unknowingly, yes. You have a way of picking wise. We have to go, otherwise we'll be white. Okay, but seriously, if you're talking about peak RPGs, you gotta talk about Super Nintendo, man. You had Chrono Trigger? Chrono Trigger's a master. What the fuck is happening? Other games Rory's coming. Markiplier is dead. Sophie is dead. What? You had to do a double and triple crossing their manager. Oh, it was so good. You are let next. me tell you, I was obsessed with I'm losing that my big fucking mind. Like what the hell is happening now? Huh? What was that? Hey, you know what? Let's let's get out of here. I'm gonna show you the entirety of Chrono Trigger in a real fast five hours. Hey!
I let me put this down. I to <laughs> so the murdering dad bot went on to kill. A bunch of popular YouTubers and was about to axe Matt Pat, but a grooving Carl hit him with a car and finished him off. Carl finally had a purpose. Yeah, I just... Listen, listen. I wasn't about to say it, but it was in my brain. So thanks for saying it for me. <laughs> because, yeah, Carl just completed a purpose. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a fucking... Wow. And Mouse is here as Aggie and I check off Carl. <laughs> Carl was playing the long game! The voice of the Lorehounds? I see. Okay. And so, rescue the Lorehounds. <laughs> what the fuck? You realize how insane all <laughs> just this collision of all these factors is. I just Wee Wee <laughs> Wee <laughs> All right. Well, I guess it's back to eating lonely hands of food. I guess I am bought. OS uninstalling. I can reverse it if I just get the Anyone see Matt Pat's last dad video? He really picks up on everything. Yeah, he's great. He even exposed some secrets about dad and Nathan in his Kane Pixels Back Rooms episode. Nah, I don't watch Matt Pat. I prefer Nexpo. Come on, Nightmind is the best. Oh, come on, Inside of Mind is the only one worth watching. You think any of them will do a new video on us now that it's all. <laughs> Flattery will get you everywhere. Except me giving up my values. I've drilled through <laughs> thousands of floors to reach the lowest level of the facility. I'll finally see what secrets Cheryl has been hiding. Dad Magazine 2.0. Oh yeah! Dad Magazine 2! Oh yeah! Open that shit up, bro. Ew! A 70s playboy. Below the facility was just a horny basement. Uh, well, I guess I should keep this for scientific purposes. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs>
have to tell you that I never stop thinking about you in there, even despite the Diane programming I- Be quiet. It will work. Tell me when we get there. And it all comes tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Oh, not a freaking ad break right now. Come on. Well, give it a second. <clears throat> okay, listen. If you've watched the rebuilds, you know it doesn't have to go out like this. Wandering Fox, thank you for the 12 months! For all of you who have been here since the start of the stream, you are quanta viewers. Your dedication to dads is truly commendable. <laughs> Our Netro! Whoa! What is that, 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 10 gift subs, R Natro, thank you! Thank you so much, R Natro! This has been a nice time. I'm glad, Dad! I'm glad. And you have put in a lot of work. Stupendous work. Mr. Ham, thank you for the three months. Does this mean the aliens are dead now, too? <laughs> I don't know. Wandering Fox 82, thank you for the 200 bits. But wow, thank you so much, Arnetro. Thank you, thank you. Ah, oh, all right. We got like t four minutes on the clock here. And yeah, you can refresh and you can beat the ads. Okay. Dadbot222 two, two, two is awake. Check in calendar. Pass the raver, thanks oh for the 100 boy. bits. Cactus Bat, it's thank you for gifting. Years. What a nap. What? Is, is, is this hair? Draco, thank Yo, you. Rex must have had an update. 
Well, hopefully Cheryl fell for our trick and left Malvin. Good luck to 6-9 and all the other dad bots. I did my part, and now my job is done. Time for DadBot222 to go on a vacation. You know what? I deserve this. What the hell is that? Mm-mm. Thank you, Rosa. Wait, 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 what's happening? From Dad's Bedroom Eyes music video, okay. Green orb, huh? Charge. Dragon pancakes, thank you for gifting! Okay, now that you've experienced Chrono Trigger, now we gotta talk Chrono Cross, right? Everything that they do with time travel, but now it's like multiple dimensions, multiple universes, there's like 50 different characters. You thought like, you know, having a couple characters in the last game was enough? No, they're like, here's all the characters, all the storyline, it actually kind of makes it a mess. I, I really don't like talking about Chrono Cross. And then they teased a third game in the series, Chrono, Chrono, I forget. I don't know what it was, but it, it it hurt me. It hurt me when they canceled it. You know, this is this is bringing up some stuff, man. There she is, Baby Lucille, <laughs> Diane's daughter. I, as a kid, man, I was excited about a sequel to Chrono Trigger, and then Chrono Cross Raver, came out. Thank you for the forty this? bits. This is not the game franchise I signed up for, and now all of a sudden there's a third one. And I'm like, yes, yeah, finally, it'll be something to redeem this franchise. But good night, game. Rider fan. Thank you for hanging Square out. Stuff. Sleep and tight. Square Enix. Now, who knows where it is? They're just making Final Fantasy like 22 and a half. No one cares. Where's Chrono Tra? Where's, where's, where's the Chrono? Where's, where's the, the Chrono, Chrono games? games? Oh. A mailbox. You've got mail. The final thing. Yep, a lot. We will complete this. Everything changes. Chair. Oh, right. The special announcement from YouTube. Yeah, I got the link, don't worry. I forgot about this! Hi, welcome to YouTube. We're excited to announce some really special changes coming this year. One of which we're going to get into today. We know that all of you and your communities are what make us great. And it's that wonderful connection made over shared interests that we want to take to the next level. We're going to roll out partner programs with select channels and creators to make the platform even better. While we're still working on the beta release, we can tell you that this partner channel has been selected to get the word out about this new feature. A lot of your favorite channels will get in on the fun, and maybe even you. This new program helps us to learn what is and isn't working on YouTube. With your feedback, we'll be able to help creators learn what you want more of and how you'd like to consume it. That would be we'll nice, you sons of bitches! We'll to give you the best experience. The end goal is to help your favorite creators make even more content and allow you to watch more of what you love. Imagine and if they did. More. YouTube has led the way in online entertainment for nearly 20 years. No, YouTube creators have led the, the, the online content creation for more than 20 years. We've grown from <laughs> a simple video sharing site to a staple of mainstream media. We made it a staple of mainstream media. We know traditional media has changed a lot over the years. With so many ways to watch, we no longer have limitations for when and where we consume what we love. It's amazing how fast and easy we can reach our neighbors across the globe. We're honored to be the ones you choose when creating or supporting what you love. We know it can be hard for creators to keep up with consistent uploads, and what you want to see may get lost in the mix. 
Even some of our top creators need a break sometimes. With the Partner Helping Hand program, we can help take some of the pressure off so you can get back to doing what you do best. Imagine that kind of empathy from YouTube. Being you, thanks for checking out this video. If you have interest in applying to the Partner program, sign up today. Hope to hear I would love to be treated more as a human being by the platform that I have helped make successful for the course of years, yeah. Hear from you soon. Stay tuned for more YouTube updates. And check out your other favorite channels to see how they're participating in our new special programs. And don't forget to check out the YouTube Creators channel for helpful tips. Now get out there and start creating! Let's see. Apply. Calling all content creators. Now is the time. That's a little hard to see. To begin our creator future, be who you've always wanted to be. Come with us and we'll help you reach unimaginable goals. Why is that giving me a link to Epic Games? Huh. From 2005 to 2024, Helping Hand Partner Program. Our Nitro, thank you for gifting five subs. I appreciate you. Thank you. YouTube loves us, yeah. Hold on, let me let me see if this is worth it. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Intriguing. And you can apply! Look! Look! I can apply! Inside the facility? Yeah, you bet. YouTube spaces look different. <laughs> well, it opens up an email, so I would have to send an email to get anything there. But... According to Dad, we've got one more video. 25 minutes. Can you hang on? Karina Zoid, hello. Yes, I do. Hi, hi, hi. Welcome in. Thank you. What you were about to see. The truth about Dad. See, is the truth of what really happened with the YouTuber known as Dad. We uncover what really happened in his life, from act one to four. Now, we do not cover every detail of dad's life. If we were to do that, we'd be here for years. There are people, places, and events not mentioned in today's expose. If you wish to experience every element of dad's average normal life, please absorb dad's complete story located on his YouTube homepage. But before we begin with the video, we would love to tell you about a great place in online the Server Files Discord server. A great place for activities, words, lore, images, clicking, theorizing, investigating, sharing, but do you have memes? friendship, memeing, gifing, Yay! Hosting, chatting, looking, and existing. So go on, join today. Now, on with the video. Huh. Rye Toast YT joining with a party of 24. Toast Raid, well, hello. Hello, welcome on in. How you doing? Hi. <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome on in. I am Nick Nocturne of Nightmind over on YouTube and Nightmind over here, but also part of Astraline. I am currently in my March hair form for the spring season. Debuted yesterday. We are watching Dad. We are catching up with the very large series, Dad, over on YouTube. As of right now, and wrapping it up, hope you had a good stream over on your end. What were you doing? You love the model? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> How sweet. <laughs> and thank you for that shout out to Ride Toast. Appreciate it. Next up, man. Listen, I'm not I'm not about to slam that tonight on top of everything else. It's been a long night. <laughs>
Enjoying the new Stardew update. Ah, that sounds pleasant. That does sound pleasant. All right. Let's see what else is in here. Before we begin, we should mention that before the Dad Channel existed, a man named Nathan was kidnapped and brainwashed by a scientist named Cheryl. She wanted to take advantage of his father-like looks and turn him into a pop star and famous YouTuber for her own benefit. But unfortunately for her, Nathan's brain was too powerful for brainwashing, so she got rid of him by dumping him in a dried up lake bed back in the year 1999, so he wouldn't be able to rat on her. But we'll touch more on that later. Now, the first thing we see on the Dad Channel was in 2019. It was a video called Dad Uploaded. We see Dad observing other dads out in the world, being fathers. He seems to be gathering information. Then the next video begins with what seems to be Dad's life in Town, USA. Dad woke up for yet another day of hard work at company, but he couldn't find wife anywhere. How would he get his morning kiss on the cheek to start his day? Understandably, Dad had a horrible day of work without his kiss, but at least he could get one when he comes home from work. Nope, still no mom and no daughter anywhere to be found. Where is Dad's family? Is this what it's like for you to make a Nightmind video while also telling me that I'm slow as fuck? <laughs> you can be faster at this, Mr. Nocturne. <laughs> Dad ate a can of food alone until family came home. It turns out they went to a restaurant without Dad. Then they went to bed without having a nice family chat. Dad didn't feel good. Well, Dad you, sent PewDiePie okay. a message. Daughter talked to her boyfriend Griffin on the phone, and Mom definitely talked to Diane on the phone and no one else. Neighbor chopped wood with his crappy axe from Dirk's discount tools. Mom found Dad magazine. Mom didn't feel good. Family finally had a nice dinner together. Well, not Mom. She still didn't feel good. Daughter got mom drunk and snuck out of the house at night. Dad perved on some true value deals. Dad loves mom. Dad loves mom. Dad loves mom. Dad loves mom. Dad loves Diane. Ella? Dad blacked out here. Hmm, what's this place? Futuristic. It looks so modern. Act one ended and act two started off with a man named Andon who fell to earth. We saw some of his life and another crashed space traveler named Emily Ridley. A detective named Carl snuck into the top secret facility. Little towels appeared on table. Dad sure did enjoy those. Dad blacked out again and Andon woke up. Luckily, mom quickly brought dad a much tastier can of food. Ugh, Laszlo, daughter's favorite pop star. She's so weird. Dad just doesn't get it. Dad had a nice dream where a true value employee named Crothers gave dad free tools and offered dad a way out, whatever that means. Daughter cut her hair and snuck out to meet Griffin, but he never showed up. Family went to a restaurant to celebrate Dad reaching 40,000. Okay, well, we'll jump to a point where it feels like, uh, actually, yeah. Let's get a little clarification here from your, your, your speed recap. Come on by. Join us. Kane already did. Nathan made his way home, but was completely taken over by the alien fungus inside him. The fungus later transferred itself to a younger human host. The Dad family saw Okay, see, that's something we needed some clarification on. Uh, let's run that. Let's let's get by that again. Yes, Kane already did. Nathan made his way home, but was completely taken over by the alien fungus inside him. The fungus later transferred itself to a younger human host. The dad family saw in the True Value music video. Shortly after, a mysterious man calling himself the Computer Master kidnapped the woman, leaving Nathan for dead in the street. Okay. Well, that explains that entire piece. Luckily, old Carl's on to him. If you've been watching the Mila uploads on Dad's channel, you will have learned more about this computer dingus. I mean, mask. In the van, you can see dust going into Nathan. Okay. Huh. But that, this clarifies that point. And the woman now acting as host to the alien parasite. Back in Dad's average life, we saw that it wasn't actually Malvin who killed DadBot222 and Griffin, but it was DadBot69. Not nice. Why would he do this? How did he get activated while 222 is still operational? So much tea. Oh, the server now has a voice. Cute. Wait a minute, so... The killer dad bot was not 69. Right, alright. Such a smart cube. 
Daughter hasn't heard from Griffin in a while since DadBot69 killed his life. So after mom yelled at her and her boyfriend ghosted her, literally, she then glitched and had a major meltdown and died. Poor daughter. Turns out she was also a bot. Cheryl created an entire bot family. Hello, kids. Diane came over again to tell DadBot that he needs to live his life for himself, feel his own feelings, and ignore the ones programmed by Cheryl and the server. She also told him that their child is a daughter. Then she ran off to Bora Bora. The server, calling itself Cube now, didn't quite like Cheryl's programming for the dad bots. So Cube ameliorated the entire network and initiated hey, a system-wide yeah, wipe. Thank you this so went into effect that. right Good when night. dad's subs, also known it's as like ADOS, that. were being incredibly generous to him in Discord by bank pranking him with donations. Dadbot69 then had a meltdown and literally blew a gasket. Poor Dadbot69. But who killed him? The subs with kindness? Or Cube's upgrade? Cube then activated Dadbot A7M2. A more advanced bot, able to handle more emotions, who will never disobey the server. Long live Q. Cube upgraded itself yet again and named herself Scarlet. But what did she order from Bardo Industries, the leader in technology and mechanics? Mom threw away daughter and wondered what was wrong with the server. Why are all the bots <laughs> malfunctioning? So her new plan is to activate him. Who is him? Back at work at company, dad still has piles of paperwork to do, while Marty has none. And definitely not dad, we saw the hour and 15 minute act three finale. Now this one is long, so let's just hit the key points. Andon escaped the facility. The engineer who worked in the facility, but had been fired by Cheryl, was tracking him. He then met up with Andon to tell him the truth about Cheryl. That she was trying to earn money through this majorly successful YouTube channel with a dancing bald dad to fund her scientific research involving quantum time travel and portals to find her dead daughter in another life. The usual motivation for a YouTube channel. Dirk's discount tools ran a crappy commercial and we learned that Dirk looks a lot like dad, so he pretended to be his brother so he could have a free place to live after he burned down his store for insurance money. Andon found a satellite to make a connection with Neela. She told him that he has really old atoms, original atoms to be exact, from the dawn of creation. That's why he has quantum powers. Finally, Andon's co-pilot used her coadjutor that she got from True Value to teleport home, even though it rapidly aged her. It was worth the price to leave Earth and return back to Kepler-22b. Turns out Jazz Laney was working for a cult named the Dark Party, consisting of Nexpo, Inside of Mind, and other investigative YouTubers. They were mad at her for failing to capture the ghost. They need her ghost firmament to keep their evil cult powers. They then left on their scooters to possibly form a new plan. Wee. 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 But little <laughs> did they know that Detective Carl was right there in his Metal Gear Solid disguise, listening to everything they said, as usual. Old Carl's on to you. Andon shot Malvin in the penis with his quantum sledge, sending him to Alaska. Oh, my penis. Diane went to Bora Bora <laughs> and something glowing blue was in the neighbor's shed. Then the act ended with Andon going back to the site of his crashed craft. He used his coadjutor to leave Earth and return to his wife Ella on Kepler-22b. He didn't age thanks to his quantum powers. Cheryl left for Kepler as well to find her reincarnated daughter. Dad bought A7M2 no. and Scarlet, aka the server who built itself a body, got married and had a baby server they named QB. Mom bought and Dad bought. Then we saw Dad bought 69 get up after blowing a gasket, revealing a large hole in the top of his head. Now, with no tracking device, he's free to roam the world as Diane suggested and live his own life. So he left town, USA. Then Act 4 began. In the first episode, we saw a mountain in a frozen forest. It looks so very far away. Yes, Matt, we're obeying the server. Obey the server. Now all of the incubated bots are activating. Scarlet went for a walk through town USA. She was really enjoying the free incubated bots discussed how their bodies aren't activated. Only their minds, okay. so Let's they can't see leave. Man. Maybe if they found out what was in the shed, they could use it to free themselves. It seems their plan is to wait for 6ix9ine to reach the target, because then they'll all be free somehow. Next we saw a very spooky house and a voice speaking Latin. Whose house is this? S. Who is speaking? Right after we heard Nathan talking about some weird symbols being written on the walls wherever he goes. What are these things? Sounds like the guy is cursed. 
His whole life is bad luck. Some other things to consider are all the other videos going up on Dad's channel. After all, every upload on Dad's channel is important and also incredibly entertaining. In the playlist titled Rory, we've seen a rogue dad bot who wears a different colored tie killing other YouTubers. He got what appears to be Markiplier and is now coming for more. Then began the finale of Act 4. Okay, so that was a rogue in old Rory. Ooh, ominous. Hey, it's that spooky house again where we heard the weird voice. Inside we see items belonging to Nathan. This must be his house. Guess it has that spooky old New England style. Inside, we saw him getting sucked into the VCR, then transported into a VCR in the facility, making Grave Stories episodes for the Dad Channel. That guy can't catch a break. We then got our first look at QB, now that he has grown from his infant cube shape. And here comes Dadbot A7M2 with his tennis racket tie and his fancy new hair, thanks to Scarlet's new growth bios. QB then basically tells Dad to shut up and go away, because he's busy feeding, feeding on information. That sure does look like a lot of data going through those wires. What information is Scarlet feeding him? Then we catch up with Dadbot 6 farther from the facility. He's living his own life, just like Diane hoped he would. We take a trip down memory lane to 2018 during the OVA days. Did you watch the OVA playlist? Pretty interesting stuff. In the OVA days is when they tested the Dadbots in the facility before the YouTube channel even launched. This early model dad had hair. Got to does that incorporate the old uploads when the dad character was first being formed? If so, that's that's a pretty pretty brilliant use. Hey, not a fan. Not very aerodynamic. The dad very um anime protagonist. Dadbot then talks to someone just out of shop. Her name is Aggie. According to the server files, that stands for artificially generated individual. She then told Dadbot to come find her before teleporting out of there. So she must be the quote-unquote target he's been looking for. Flash forward to present time. Dadbot has his chaos ring from Diane. That's supposed to keep his atoms intact when teleporting with Aggie. That is, if he can find her. Oh boy, looks like Scarlet is snacking on the same thing as QB. Lots and lots of data. That looks like too much power to me. She says together, her and QB will achieve the prime objective. Pure existence. Uh... That doesn't sound great. Dadbot came home from work to find the whole facility empty. His house was absolutely destroyed. Things aren't looking good around here. Nope, not good at all. Scarlet is flying now. That's a major upgrade. And oh, Cubie's a big boy now. She tells Cubie to activate universal omission. Maybe that just means lower air pollution, I hope. Dadbot69 finally finds Aggie on the beach. Wow, she really is a computer-generated being that exists in 3D space. That's some high-tech the facility was working on. That's like seeing Buzz Lightyear at Jiffy Lube. Oh no, it's Rory. What? Rory is error, spelled backwards, for those who can't do words good. He's the rogue dadbot that built himself a body made out of a pile of discarded parts. He's the one going around murdering other YouTubers. It looks like he's coming after oh, MadPat. Well, so much for that. Carl obliviously saved Matt by being distracted while driving listening to dad songs. Good job, Carl. Our hero. Dadbot A7M2 started shutting down. Then the dadbots in storage all shut down. Something is wrong with the server. Oh yeah, the server is now his wife gone mad and floating in the sky shooting lasers out of her kid's face. All right. It's the computer master. He finally made it to the bottom floor of the facility. Cheryl must have been hiding a big secret way down there. Oh, it's old. Playboys. Well, if she didn't like motorcycle magazines, then these are definitely getting hidden in the basement. Aggie then teleports Dadbot69 and herself out of this universe and into another. Just in time, too. This universe is beginning to implode. Everything and everyone was instantly vaporized. It's that spooky voice again. Like the one we heard near Nathan's haunted house. They said, they have failed us. I think that's in regards to the dark party. Nice going, next bone inside of mind. You disappointed ominous voices hiding in space nebula. Wee, <laughs> wee. Hey, it's Dadbot two two two. Arguably the most beloved Dadbot by Ados, all Dad's awesome subscribers. Remember, he was shot by Dadbot six nine back in Act Two as part of their secret plan to tear apart Cheryl and Malvin, then get six nine out of the facility. Now that the other bots have been deactivated or well vaporized, he's the only one left. So he got booted up to replace them. 
Unfortunately, he only has a few seconds to live, but he then pulls out a green orb, like the one we saw in Dad's bedroom eyes music video. He drinks the orb, then escapes to another universe. Jeez, this is some wild stuff. Are you still with me? Feels like Kinda. a wild movie, doesn't it? Scarlet then had a quantum Karen conniption fit and imploded the entire universe. <laughs> And the spooky space nebula voices were erased too. Even the Discord with 9,000 of Dad's subs <laughs> unimploded. Literally everything. Nothing exists anymore. It's all gone. But how am I talking? Who am I? Who are you? And who is this? Matt Pat? He's still alive. Talk Chrono Cross, right? Every I mean that that statement kind of feels weird now, but yeah. Thing that they do with time travel but now it's like he's got a lot of time to do exactly this now which is well earned after all the years that he's put into this this game <laughs> Multiple and he's still going on about There's chrono like trigger hey something appeared after the credits but this wasn't in the original act four ending i wonder if everyone saw this that looks like town usa someone's mailbox whose is it Pretty nice. Nice coat of paint. Wonder what hardware store it's from. Did an ace of a job. Well, what's that sound? Voices? Hang on. Gotta put a little filter on it. Hello. Your appointment with Barbara is next. Please be prepared to begin the tour. We're so excited to have you. We think you're going to love it here. And of course, thank you for being you. Okay, I get it. So yeah, it is Ava in, in the term of the second implode did manage to wipe the universe and rebirth it. And now we're in the rebuilds, except in this version of this universe. Uh, YouTube... YouTube gives a fuck from the very beginning. Wow, imagine that. Imagine that. What an amazing thing. What an amazing idea. I wonder if the CEO is different now and is not somebody from the um, advertising department of Google who is simply inserted as CEO to make sure that is only a monetization scheme. I got more salt. Than a motherfucking McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Susan Wachiki? You didn't know? You didn't know that she had no experience at all in running any division that had anything to do with content creation or being an artist? Yeah. She was pulled from the advertising sector, uh, section of Google's Enterprises and installed as the CEO. She had nothing to do with experiences of being an artist at all. And yeah, she's gone now. So you know what? Let's do one thing quick. Okay, Dad. The dance video or the lyric video? What do? She only got her position because she loaned her garage to the founders of Google back in the day. I believe it. Oh, you've got a remix. Oh. Ew. Wait. World premiere? World premiere? <clears throat> Nightmind. World premiere.
Dad and Danger. Obey the server. Pay the bills to feed the server. Dad uploads so easy. Turn the log on to his e computer. Dad becomes the best YouTuber. Dad obeys the YouTube server. Family links for their observers. Dad reaches a little further. Go, 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 go. So Dad obey the server. Just to play and feel the power. Spend more time with your computer. Life on I'm coming! Ah, we love a world premiere. Thank you, Dad! <laughs> Woo! What a night indeed. So, what is the lesson here, people? Um, check out Dad's music because it's... <laughs> it is good. It is good. I mean, a new song, Dad and Good Girls. Listen, I'm going to be checking it out. Honestly, honestly, honestly. When I first encountered Dad, it was such an uplifting thing. Just the sheer creativity, how new it all was, but the music. There's just so much fun in the music that you put it on. And of course, there's some story in it, but it really is just, it's just fucking happy it's silly it's happy it actually grooves you can't feel bad listening to a dad track like you know uh, there's just been so many times where all of a sudden i'll remember daddy's feeling good dad has can of food dad is feeling good time for dad to move and dad bot is like, come on, dude. Obey the server too. Like this this stuff is a bop. It's just so much fun. It makes you feel good. It does. And the entire series is like, whether it gets a, a little convoluted or not, it just it it's happy. It's fun. It's creative. It's dedicated. It really is just a just enjoy it, you know? Have fun with it. Enjoy what art is in it, too, because there is art in it. There are emotional moments. There are statements that are made. And it's just, it's what we do here, period. Yeah, Fred, it is. It's both a celebration and a parody of creation. 
It really is. It's having a lot of fun while at the same time saying some things. And coming from a place of Nathan having been a creator online for years. 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 And just doing all sorts of stuff. You'd be fucking stunned to know what he's done. Honestly, you've seen things that have happened online where you won't you don't even realize he was involved. <laughs> You know, it's just, dad is just a damn good time. It's really, really fun. It's super creative. And then there's this piece about this piece, man. And dad is doing a DJ tour this year. Fucking fantastic. Brother, let me know when you're coming through New England. Let me know. If I could, if I could come by, I will, I will do what I can, dude. I'll do what I can. <laughs> Fair warning and I'll be able to. I'll have to I'll have to fix up my head, but uh <laughs> and maybe get a proper pair of gloves now. Like new song, holiday, two months ago. Good girls. A full dad DJ set. You can throw dad on in the background. Dad live. And this whole new thing with the, with the Helping Hands Partner Program. Dad does not stop. <laughs> Absolutely, Dad. Absolutely. It would be a pleasure. It would be a pleasure. <sighs> All right. Ah. Woo! How are we feeling? You're feeling good. Feeling sassy. Have you all managed to shake your dad bots today? I hope you have. <laughs> feeling good and tired? Absolutely. Yeah. Sassy. There it is. Dad is feeling good. Yep. Thank you, Fred. Fragments of Silicon! Thank you for raiding with your five raiders! I appreciate them! And I hope they appreciate wherever I send them next within the minute that I'm about to end and send them off to. <laughs> hope you had a good a good time, though. Dad! Thanks, Dad! Thank you for gifting. Thank you, Father, everybody. <laughs> but yes, please, please thank Dad for hanging out. And of course, as we say to all creators when we finish checking out their work, thank you for creating everything that you have. Thank you for your dedication, your passion, your creativity. Thank you for being you, period. Genuinely. <laughs> Actually. Thank you for being you. Don't forget to leave your cult. Oh my god, this joke is never gonna end with you. Listen, pal. I'm not the kind of guy who joins cults. I think yesterday was evident of that. I fucking start them. I'm a rather dominant personality. <laughs> But my family is here and obvious. And our goals and our values are known very well. Ah, will we be playing Call to the Lamb again soon? Not this week, but I think next week. Okay, so. We are feeling good. Time for chat to move. We're going to wrap this up for tonight. I'm going to get some real food. I'm going to get some food for me and Graffy. And then hit the bed. Tomorrow I got to get up and get to the gym. Who's online? Let's see. Seven hours I've been on. You know what? I'm going to send you to Crothers. 
Why the fuck not? Let's keep this train rolling appropriately. Thanks for the help, bud. All right. Thank you, Stoner Jesus. <laughs> what a name. <laughs> Hold on. Let's see. Let's see what we can do for for a raid message. What do I got? What do I got? Sometimes it's so annoying to find my own emotes. I swear. Here, this will work. There we go. We are feeling good. <laughs> All right. Go hang out with Crothers for a while. Go hang out with Crothers and give us support. Dad, thank you for hanging out. All of you, thank you for hanging out. I will see you tomorrow where we will be unabashedly furry and starting up Komarevi. Bye!